I was playing this. Uh, there's an on, free browser online game, uh, Watergate, the, the video Farmville? game. Watergate. Yeah, Watergate, the video game. And so you play the investigative journalist that broke Watergate, but like it's kind of a point and click adventure. Mm -hmm. But it goes like completely off the rails, like pretty quickly. Like your editor sends you off to go investigate this, and then he gives you an Elven Brought sword. But oh, so what? it's supposed to be off. <laughs> yeah, the rails. yeah. It's okay, that, nice. Like you can. Like he asks you, do you want to take on this assignment? And you're, and you can say no. And then it's, and then it continues on like this alternate future where Nixon like <laughs> takes over the world and because you didn't go bust Watergate. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and it's like the old uh, scrum controls with like the verbs and stuff. Okay, uh, but you know, uh, you, you yourself is an option too, and so you can do use yourself, and then it says you masturbate furiously. Wow, Whoa. that's an awesome game. Story you of my can life. Eat yourself. <laughs> Unnamed sources report that you taste delicious. <laughs> punch yourself, then you punch yourself in the groin. Wow. And th then there's a segment where you take LSD because uh, uh, Timothy Leary <laughs> Timothy Leary's in the sewer and he offers you LSD and you take it and then you turn into Mega Man on this cloud and you're shooting what? like these these uh, oh, wait, wait. astronauts and <laughs> spaceships and then, and, then, and then you wake up and it says you're not allowed into the National Air and Space Museum anymore. <laughs> when... <laughs> At what point though does it go off the rails? <laughs> yeah, at, at what, like when does it get when weird? Does it start getting weird? Welcome back to Signed In. I am Jeremy Superfro, 33. I'm. What is my name? It's been so long. Nobody cares. Who are you? <laughs> Eminem. <laughs> Eminem. I'm gonna stand His up. name is. I don't know. <laughs> my name is. My name is Shonix. I want out. And I'm Sean. prop dresser. Ha ha. <laughs> you got it. In. <laughs> got it in. You weren't looking. Hey, everybody. We're back. We're back. Unfortunately, <laughs> the sound of things no, already. No, fortunate. <laughs> Couldn't be more fortunate. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so we're back. We're on. Uh, we're in a new spot. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're on brand new equipment. It's exactly the same for them, but brand new spot for us. It is. It will sound the same for them. Yes. Hopefully. Well, that's the thing. New equipment. Mm -hmm. So bear with us if anything sounds goofy. Yeah. So it's got that new equipment sound. <laughs> it does, and that might not be a good thing, but we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, it's bearable, right? Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Nobody will ever know. Are you inventing things to be neurotic about for this? I don't have to invent. I'm just maybe <laughs> yeah. airing more. Yeah. It's been a month. I'm like, this is my therapy session, and I haven't had it for a month. <laughs> that is so true. Now you guys are getting you haven't had anybody be angry at you. And I probably should get some Kleenex in case I cry. <laughs> you don't cry. There, You're a robot. Days. You don't true. piss, and you don't cry. Yeah, this... I've been in the car with you. Both of those things are true. <laughs> <laughs> you... I cry, I I cry like, in the how, car. How, <laughs> how long of a car ride do you need to be on before you start to say... You haven't cried yet. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Well, with me in the well, car? Jeremy? <laughs> Down to the old location for about a half hour. Yeah. <laughs> there was at least one or two cries in the old traveling. But yes, you are correct. I'm a robot. Yes. Emotionally stifled. That's okay. Um, I'm all right. But uh, we are back, and mm -hmm. we thank everybody in the last month uh, yes. who oh. gave their uh, donation, who gave Insane. their uh, comments, who gave spread, uh, spread it by word of mouth, yeah. anything mm -hmm. about our fundraising for our new equipment um, for the shows that we put out through Pseudo Radio. Yes. It was awesome and humbling oh, yeah, and sure. uh, really, really appreciated. Yes. And really definitely. cool to see. Yeah. Um, I right at the top of the show before we even get into the games, I want to spotlight that, um, all the folks who did send us donations. Mm -hmm. um, we appreciate it from everybody, but these are the folks that actually contributed to what what you're listening to us on right now. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to run through. We got a couple different tiers. We're going to start, but everybody's important. Don't don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Just some of you more important. <laughs> No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> that came out wrong. Uh, so it came out exactly like you wanted it to That come is out. true. So running through, uh, I want to thank uh, our thanks, all of our thanks, out yes. to Todd H., Jesse J., and by the way, if you wanted to be anonymous, sorry, we're ruining that. Uh, <laughs> Jesse J., Keith T., Daniel M., Brian L., Dennis L., Jeff S., Melinda R., that's right, a woman, Ryan J, Barb S, Snap Two. Oh no, <laughs> Nate P. They're not. That's not my mother. <laughs> no, it's or, not. I, uh, None. Oh, cool. My but my mom did give me money. So. 
<laughs> yeah, no. yeah, you put it she's on the, the list. Show, You're not going to know where she's at. <laughs> no, yeah, right. I just pocketed. Thanks, yeah. Mom. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> My dream's getting answered. <laughs> Keep feeding the dreams. <laughs> oh, we suck again. Can I get some some more dream pay? <laughs> dream pay. <laughs> no. Uh, and then uh, I guess this would be the silver level mm-hmm. that we're moving up to now. Okay. Uh, JT, Chris M, Ryan H, Paul K, Matthew H, Mario C, Scott F, Brent T, Chris M. And then we have one who I'm going to probably categorize it as the indecent proposal level because I'm <laughs> because I I, be I'm pretty Demi. sure he I want to be Demi in this situation. I'm, then. W- <laughs> is she the one that gets banged? I think so. OK, because you are, because <laughs> the winner of our one night with Sean. Yes. You can do whatever you want with him, Thank to God. him, just gotta catch him. around him. <laughs> well, that's part greased. of the fun. Yeah. I will be greased. I will be greased. But that's, that's part a of norm. the fun, though. That's a norm. Uh, and that is Dom B. Oh. And uh, again, to everybody, we appreciate everything, and it was awesome. And yeah, definitely, we hope everything is sounding good. Yeah. Yes, and if not, we apologize and we'll fix it. <laughs> right? Sure. Is that how it works? Yeah. We'll see. All right. So we've had a month off. Yeah. Uh, and we're back now, and we played a shit ton of games, right? Yeah. Like nonstop. I can't say I, I did nonstop. <laughs> I played a good I'm amount sorry. of games. I, I played some. I didn't play as many as I should. I was just being sarcastic. Because I was gone for like a... I took a vacation. You did. Craig got married. Yeah. He did. Congratulations. Thank you. We were at that wedding. It was great. It was. I still talk about that food all the time. I don't know who you Do had you cater really? it. I mean, mean to talk to you, and this is probably not the spot for it. <laughs> but I don't know who you had cater it, but it was awesome. Yeah. It was They're the right best. here in Marion. It was delicious. Are you me? They're like a mile and a half away. I'm going to have them cater my fucking lunches. <laughs> you know, they have lunch catering. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. For one good. person? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Just hook me up with that cheese, bro. Well, no doubt. Anyway, so I this... think my mom bought the cheese. Oh, okay. Well, I need to talk to her too. <laughs> this is totally not the That's right place. This is that was amazing. Our catering podcast. Awesome. <laughs> it was good. It was. It was the best food I've ever had at a wedding. <laughs> it wow. was. It's true. Yes. It's a bold statement. Yes. But you usually deck out of a lot of receptions, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I usually don't even go, period. Exactly. <laughs> so you're welcome for my attendance. That that should have been my gift. I appreciated the, the, the minimum to the heckling. <laughs> yeah, we didn't heckle at all. I know. I threw things, but... All right. Uh, There's more on your breath. So mm-hmm. let's get on to the games then. What do we have? What have we played in the last month, kids? Uh, are we listing? Well, you don't have to list all the I indie gotta... because we run through those normally, but do you have a bunch of... I do have a bunch of indie games, uh, a fairly wide variety of types of games as nice. well. Mm-hmm. And then a whole bunch of XBLA stuff, uh, Sacred Citadel, God Mode, Far Cry 3, Blood Dragons, Monaco. Monaco. Although I, I cheated. You did cheat. Monaco. Well, you played non-Xbox. I played the version. PC. I did play with the it's controller. Good, Come on. Here's the thing. I tried to nice. balance it out. Uh, we're recording on Odd Time, so Monaco just came out on 360 today. Yes. So I'm glad you us. played it on the PC right. so that we were able to talk about it. Because it's supposed to be, yeah, we'll talk about it then. I guess so. <laughs> cool. If we must. But that's it. I tried to uh, play the Fuse demo, but uh, uh, I do not. I have not played any EA games since they started that Origin <laughs> stuff. And I refuse to read through all of what that, is, you, all of that shit you, just for a demo. You might be the only person I know. You say it all the time, but you might be the only person I know who actually reads that shit. Well, yeah. Why do you read that shit? Who cares? He's Who cares? agreeing to it. Yeah, I know, but just agree. It's not going to be like South Park where they do the iPad <laughs> or the iPod thing, iPod centipede, whatever it was. Ooh. I don't know. What you I don't know it was, what the, it I... was uh, Apple got the permission to turn everybody into iPod centipedes, like the human centipede thing, oh, because okay. they just clicked the agree thing and it was in the agreement thing. So. Uh, <laughs> that shows good. It might happen, actually. <laughs> so uh, I have a bunch of those too. I have pretty much, uh, well, not everything you mentioned, but a lot of things you mentioned, and I also have uh, some injustice. God among us, gods among us. I yes. guess. Yes, I should say. Yes. Yes. And Sean, I did have uh, Dead Island Riptide. Yes. But we didn't get as much time with that as it needs. No. Uh, so we're gonna have that next episode. I've been getting my ass kicked at work. Literally, it, like yes. you should talk to somebody about it. <laughs> But I can't talk to Stay mother. No to bullying. I, I can't talk to mother. I can't talk to mother nearby. nature. You know. <laughs> oh, I mean, weather-wise. I, I'm a big fan of Thor, and that's his mother and all. But fuck her, because I'm tired of her. <laughs> yeah, this is a roller coaster. I love roller coasters, but this one can go to hell. This one puts me underwater for three minutes. You know, oh, it's that kind of roller coaster. Gotcha. Um, I'm going on that one again. So I got to, so I got to play the some. Ga- I I did play some games. I actually had a lot of disc games going on. Um, I had some Defiance. I played. Oh, yeah. nice. Um, I finished up some Army of To uh, the Devil's Cartel. <laughs> 
Um, I also what? played some Injustice. You did that wrong. Um, and then there's uh, Poker Night 2 from okay. XBLA I got to play from Telltale Games. So, yeah, and I got some stuff in. Uh, I did play some games. It was more or less a couple a while ago, not so much the last couple weeks. So right, some of the new time. stuff. I have like Far Cry 3 on my, you know, I, I, uh, I, Blood it's Dragon? sitting there, but I haven't played it yet. You so I don't even know that. what it's like. So that's awesome. I can't we'll wait to hear you guys. I know. I can't wait it. to hear you guys talk about it. So. All right. Well, let's jump in then. Yes. Uh, start with some XBL, or XBLIG. Yes. God Ligget. damn it. I'm going back on vacation. <laughs> Explid it up. I'm back on hiatus. Uh, I'm going to start it off with Zombie Compound. Uh, sells for 80 Microsoft points from Smoodles. Smoodles. I believe is, is the name of the, the company that made this. I will take your word for it. It's, uh, you know, it's a top-down twin-stick shooter. Uh, with an art style, kind of like Super Crate Box, if you're familiar with mm. that game, it's a uh, you know a, a very pixelated sort of deal, okay. kind of kind of cutesy at the same time, uh, and it's got I think it's got local multiplayer if I remember correctly, not online multiplayer, but you can have up to four people playing. Um, yeah, and it's. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. They got a bunch of different zombie types. You're on like this base, and the zombies are trying to get in, so your soldiers shooting them. Hmm. Um, and you know, there's like the the dudes in the hazmat suits and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You know what you're going to expect. It's a twin stick zombie mm-hmm. shooter. Yeah. It it didn't seem to do anything particularly new, but it was a nice and shiny new one, uh, and it it did what it did well. Cool, cool, good to hear. I tried out some marshmallow duel. Uh duel? I mean not duo, duel. Is that a new cookie? Um I wish. Uh it sold for 240 points from Potential Game Studios. Uh this has a local That's um, a, that's a, that's an unfortunate name. I like I, I like that name. I like it, but that's also like uh we have potential. Uh, how's it going? I don't read it that way. So we got a, a, a local Online multiplayer. It's like a, M- a PV local P- online multiplayer. Yes, local is that, is that a land? local or online Slash. multiplayer? Slash it up. Uh, it's a PvP platformer <laughs> type jobby, and the the has like graphics uh, similar to like some Atari twenty six hundred games, old school yeah. pixelated job. Um, but it has like the the map is a platform almost in the vein of the old Donkey Kong Junior, where it's grid like little <laughs> you know like the grids, and then you walk uh-huh. up cables, and uh-huh. then you can get power ups. And you want to fight the other person that's on the other side. It's a it's a you know PvP. Right. But um, the only problem is I didn't play any online. I just played local, so I just would go up Are and kill bots? my guy. Oh, so no. we just stand. You just played a you played a local <laughs> two player game. Yes. Oh. Yes, I did. I, I did. I'm sorry. By I won yourself? every time. I died a lot because I just <laughs> I kept following in the marshmallow. Mm. There's marshmallow underneath. I don't know what it's all about. But uh, I I don't I like the style of it I like the look it's worth checking out I just the the looks what got me and um, it looks like you could change some of the just some of the the gameplay too right and so you can add things and you know set uh, the uh, levels and whatnot okay so very I, I thought it was really cool cool yeah excellent uh I got a chance to check out War Rapier forty three twenty ten. Sells for 240 Microsoft points from Mr. Orange JJ, I guess is the name of the company. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. They, they were listed separately on two different lines. It was like a uh, in the middle and game in the middle on either side and Mr. Orange and JJ above each other. <laughs> it was like those word puzzles you get underneath the, the comics. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, where you have to decode them. Tom Underwood? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And you had to do a wuzzle? Wuzzle, that's it. Yeah. Oh, we're talking that's about wuzzles like. again. <laughs> wuzzle. Um... <laughs> So this is this is a very weird kind of story adventure mm-hmm. game. Like it's not exactly point and click, it's more move around and mm. activate. Um which seems to be taking a bit of a riff on things like Mass Effect and all of that and uh I don't know, it's this weird alternate future, New France, you're these uh space buccaneers or something mm-hmm. like musketeers, space musketeers okay. instead of space marines. Right. Uh and What's happening is like it's it's an interesting twist to this. So there's this alien race that's coming to destroy Earth. You have 15 minutes before they arrive, and you have to get your troops ready in that time. And so they're all, you know, they all have like these psychoses and like neurotic disorders mm-hmm. and all that. So you yeah. have to talk to them and like hack into like their email and figure out what's up with them, and then figure out what they want in order to kind of motivate them so they'll all be ready in that 15 minutes. Uh, and so it's, it's really bizarre, yeah. uh, and is very humorous as well. Hmm. Um, and it's, it's, it's tricky. I, I see this game taking multiple playthroughs mm-hmm. to, to figure out because 
you know, you can play it again. It's only 15 minutes long, which is kind of a neat feature for it. Yeah. Um, but then you can play it again, and you have all that prior knowledge, so you don't have to go through all the rigmarole that you took to right, find out right. this mm-hmm. prior information. Mm. You can just play it again. Um, but, yeah, it's it's very bizarre. And, uh, <laughs> it sounds it's, crazy. It's worth checking out. Cool. Wow. That is weird. <laughs> Um, I tried out Jam Souls. Yes, I played this as well. Jam Souls. Jam Souls! Exclamation point. Yes, 80 points from uh, Chaos Smug. Smog? I don't know. That... Kaosumog. Kaosumog. Yeah. Kao... So, yeah. Yeah, from them. And it's I'll a, take your word for it's, it. It's a, it's a local one to four player or two to four co op versus yep. VP. You know, another platformer. All these games that I have for yeah. indie kind of have a nice. It's kind con- they have almost the same type of vibe going on. It's a on little somewhere. Super Smash Brothers y. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, where, where it's everyone's on the same screen. Mm-hmm. Although there are different modes. I, I think I only played the Deathmatch. There's a, yeah, and there's, there's a, a capture, capture the, the flag. flag and yep. I think there was one other there's mode. A, as well. Yeah, but I don't think that was available in no, the No, not trial. in the demo. Yeah. 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 Um, I really liked it. What really got to me was the style. I like the look. It's uh, great art on there. Yeah, isn't and it, it? Ha- had a fantastic type intro where it's like Pandora opens the box and then like all yeah. these like crazy like I think I skipped the intro. Yeah, like all <laughs> these crazies definitely. come jumping out of it and there's like nice. one angel, but pretty much you fight as all these like crazy looking. You know, I love the design of each of the character. They had I think four yeah. are unlocked for the yes. the trial and then it's, there's other ones to play. It's not pixel art like you expect from a lot of the indie or you see from yeah. a lot of the indie games. Mm-hmm. It's it's more full animated art and it's done beautifully. Yeah. Um and the combat is done primarily through jumping. Yes. You jump on your opponent. Yeah. Oh, really? And there's also power ups that uh or <laughs> some of them I'm, I'm some of them I, I don't know how kind of negative exactly some of them I, I would, that was the only issue I had you'd pick up a bomb and I didn't know how to like yeah. drop the bomb so, and so I'd you have this the bomb buttons. with a fuse on it yeah and it would count down and then I'd blow up <laughs> waiting for you to die yeah, yeah basically so don't pick up the bomb I guess <laughs> but then they had like a, like a Uzi and that was yeah. pretty cool but I you know you'd run out of ammo really yeah. quick because you but just mostly you jump on people <laughs> right yeah but uh, I thought the graphics were really cool. I, I just so had too. a little hard time with the gameplay. But for the eighty well, points, I thought it was. A, I mean, it's totally worth checking out. And uh, you get that capture the flag and two, you know, up to four people playing yeah. local. Yeah, it's it's local multiplayer only. Mm-hmm. However, it does have bots. Yeah, and the bots seem oh, pretty cool. good. I like so, that. Yeah, they so do. So if you want to solo it, you can play quite a bit. I'm yeah. sure. Cool. I thought it was a really cool looking game too. Yeah. yeah. How like much did you say it was? Eighty, 80 points. Eighty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Uh, last one I checked out was Planet Wars for also 80 Microsoft points from Cole Powered. Um, this is uh, another top-down twin-stick shooter, kind of similar to Zombie Compound that I talked to before. Talked to? Yes, I talked to it. You talked to the game? Yeah. What did it tell you? Uh, He's the game whisperer. <laughs> it said, buy me. <laughs> did it tell you? Your eight minutes are up. Did buy it, me. Did it tell you? You might be lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say that at all. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, like I talked about before, um, except here it's kind of you know it's kind of um, uh, Starship Troopers ish where you're on like this planet where uh, they're all there are these aliens and and you're but here's the thing like you're not your character is not really the troops on the ground you're like this uh, dude up in the space station controlling the mercenaries and kind of directing them and outfitting them and all that stuff. Right. I mean, you control... So it's the, almost like a sim? You control the, you control the shooters uh, when they're going around. Okay. But hmm. that's kind of the story build-up. That's why, you know, because your troops will, oh, gotcha. will die. Okay, okay yeah. It's... <laughs> Uh, and and so you can kind of customize a lot of stuff. You can customize their weapons and you know their loadouts, and you can customize how many troops are in there and what sort of special abilities they have and what things you can shoot down from the space station and all that. And then then you send them off on their merry little way, and they have to clear out a, a screen. And then once that screen is cleared, then they can move move on to the next screen and uh, shooting, shooting, shooting. Uh, <laughs> it's got it's got a pretty nice little art style, uh, slightly pixelated, but not um, not overly so um and was kind of neat it was i liked the i liked the wasn't really an rpg type element but it was more of a strategy element for it almost uh with the the management aspect okay, yeah. of it so it, it, it was a nice like, twist yeah. on a twin stick shooter that's interesting yeah i'll have to check it out yeah cool you won't i know <laughs> called you out on that one <sighs> the tables Sean, have turned so people can hear us i know um, last for me is Magnetic by Nature oh, Awakening. Too. Yes. Uh, for 80 points from Triple Slash Studios. This is another platformer 
where you can attract, repel, and fling yourself from point A to point B. It's a puzzle platformer here. Um, really cool style. I like the silhouette look to it. Almost has like a limbo type look, but not as dreary. I was reminded of Outland. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, the style is what really pulled me in, but the gameplay is not for me. Really? Um, I found myself having a little hard time, like with the buttons, because it's a little. You change, like. So you'll have a color no come up that's for attracting. So mm-hmm. then you get pulled up to that. So then another one's like a repel. So you had to kind of switch off with the button. Presser. Yeah, I mean, you have uh, your two triggers uh, activate your magnetic yeah. powers. And so you use that to kind of swing through the air and all that stuff. And there's this one part. It took me forever to figure it out. But, like, there's this... this um, like chimney essentially mm. and there's like a a couple of nodes on the end and i'm like what am i supposed to do and then i figured out that you know you, you let yourself fall and then you attract to it and then you let go before you get too close to the nodes so then you just continue going oh and then and then uh. you switch to repel and then it shoots you out see and it was pretty cool so once i figured it out on my th- yeah exactly at the same time yeah you're actually on the ground very little yeah from yes. all, <laughs> yeah. for a lot of levels you're kind of you know flinging yourself around more and I thought that tr- like the it just getting you started was really easy. Like yeah. some of the it, you just walked you through and stepped. It just I really like the style. I maybe really a little it. maybe a little too simple on some of the yeah. And then as you I'm start like, okay. kind of playing, you're like, oh, but yeah, oh, it's a, a little bit of a curve. <laughs> yeah, all there's of a sudden, a, there's a distinct switch. Yeah, yeah. So then I was really in, into the game, and then I kind of got shrugged off from it. But it's totally worth checking out. It's 80 points. Mm-hmm. Uh, the style is really cool. It's it's awesome. fun. I mean, if you're into that kind into that kind of game. No, it's for you. I'm into fun games. Well, yeah. Well, it, this one will give you a Are heart you? attack. No, I'm not. A <laughs> heart really attack. A <laughs> heart attack. You can't complain about fun Well, me games. one. That's true. That's true. I don't complain that much. No, no you don't. Not that much. Do you no. know what? I'll be honest with you. I, I <laughs> mainly, once. one of the big things, for once, one of the big reasons I want to start doing a podcast four or five years ago yeah. was because I wanted to be able to bitch about shit all the time, right? And rant. <laughs> I am completely shocked by this revelation. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> But it doesn't happen very much. You get in front of it, and then you're like, well, I, I kind of don't want to sound like a douche all the time. But then. Well, but then you didn't you save yourself. in your mouth. Oh, boy. Whoa. <laughs> all right. Is that it for XBLIG? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Indie games. ABCD. <laughs> all right, let's move on to XBLA. Who wants to start off with something? Uh, well, Sacred Citadel came out first. Let's do it. Let's do a chronological. All right. That sounds, sounds good. entirely boring. You might know it. I don't even know. It. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, yeah. you played them all. When, when, did, 800 when do I Microsoft? come in on this 1,200 one? points. 1,200 points. Okay. Yeah, yeah we did get a review line. copy of yeah. uh, Sacred Citadel. We actually got Which two review awesome. copies, so we could do some co-op uh, play as well. Yes. Nice. So thanks, Deep Silver. From South End Interactive and Deep Silver was yes. the, the publisher. Um, which is a it's a 2D side scrolling hack and slash game uh, with up to four players, both local and on. Well, I guess you can only have up to three it's players three, local, yeah. which is weird. Oh yeah. yeah, it's it's three period. I think it's three period. That's, maybe it is four online. That's I don't strange. Remember. No, I think it. I think you might be right. I, think I it thought is it was just three, three uh, overall. Yeah. What a weird number because there's four characters. <laughs> you know, so you have your basic you know um, warrior. Yeah, your basic fantasy characters. You have oh, your I did warrior. play this game. Oh, you did? It was a while ago. I did. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, it was like four yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, four weeks. Awesome. Never mind. <laughs> there's a warrior, there's a rogue, there's a mage and a cler- uh, cleric. Yeah, I think it's a cleric. Something like that. Um, and it's there's a, everyone carries two weapons and then like a special weapon, which is more suited to uh, them. The two magic ladies yeah. have spell wands and uh, the rogue has a bow and uh, uh, the warrior carries a big axe or hammer mm. that he can use to finish people off and... Uh, it's a lot of button smashing, uh, but it's actually quite a bit of fun. I, I had fun with it. Yeah, I think you had more fun with it than I did. I thought it was just okay. It, it is. I mean, it's nothing. It's pretty mediocre. It is pretty mediocre. It's nothing phenomenal. Like, they're not doing anything particularly special. And here's the other thing is that I forgot to, I forgot to do this research. Surprise. <laughs> but I think I had heard that it was called Sacred Citadel. Uh, and I think Sacred is... That's in there because it's tied to a game series. I, Sac- I think it is. Sacred I one looked and it up two. You were talking about it. Yeah, and it's an old like from the early two thousands. I think. Yeah, like an old RPG game. Yes, and so what's weird is, yeah, uh, you know, I don't know if they're trying to revitalize their franchise or something mm-hmm. like that, but it's it kind of reminded me of that Islands of Walk Fu game that was tied into that uh, MMO Walk Fu. Uh, I think oh, there's I think yeah. there's a Sacred Three coming. 
That's probably, I think this that's is serving figured, as a prequel to that. That's why so. I figured. Yeah, and because it's kind of a side story. Like there are these weird, like there are these plot things that happen mm. that are really kind of tangential to what's going on in the game, um, and there are references to things. And I'm like, okay, like <laughs> all, all the loading stuff is like all this lore for this world, but it doesn't really get into the world at all. It's all like, ah, I hear you're in this new area, slash of things. Yeah, because you're still just slide scrolling, sla- hack and slash everything. Now I have to say, it looks gorgeous. Yeah, I mm-hmm. like the look of it a lot. Oh, um, we my ran goodness. into a little bit of a glitch uh, when we were playing we multiplayer, and I don't know if that was you know our connection or yeah. if it's a predominant thing with you know the multiplayer. Yeah, I don't general, know. But I, and we only tried it the one time. We had some teleporting going on. Like we did, where bo- both of us were capable of moving, and it was still keeping us connected, which yeah, was we were nice. Fine on our end. But what would happen was. Uh, me on Jeremy's screen, Jeremy on my screen would look like it was it was just kind of like his dude would be there and then it would move five feet and then it would move five feet and blah, blah, blah. Well, and you had a point where you were on a mount because there are mounts in the game that you can yes. get on and ride around on. And Craig was just running from one end of the screen to the other while I was probably doing something stupid like shooting my bow a hundred times. Yeah. Because that's all I did. That was pretty much it. Uh, and so he was running back and forth. And so he would literally would just appear on the left side, then the right side of the right side, the left side, the right side, the left side, <laughs> back and forth. And there was no movement in between. He would just appear there that's huh. back and forth. So I don't know. Yeah, I think it was just those fast, quick movements. And you said this wasn't happening movement. on yours. Uh, but on mine, when I was playing single player, there was this weird thing where like the music would just stop. No, I didn't have that. I, I think maybe a whole sound would stop. Like the so- sound would cut out hmm. for like Your a, wife for like a second. But I, but I did have that part where the body was sliding, <laughs> the, the dead body was sliding across the screen. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and you didn't have that. I don't think I saw that. We no. had lots of stuck animations. Oh. We did. You put I, out like some spell I, stuff. Yeah, I used the spell, and it would paralyze people, and it, there would be like the swirly wind thing around them, and then and then it's supposed to go away, and then there'd be always be like one or two swirly things still left on there. And we both got to see that. We did, yes. <laughs> and that was kind of that was actually a little bit of a pain, just because the uh, the screen can get pretty full, yeah, pretty hmm. easily. So when I said before about mediocre, I mean we did have fun doing it, but yeah. it's really There's really nothing it's, wrong it's, with the game. Yeah, and it's and it's just mindless. Yeah, it, it is what I kind oh, of it really felt is. like it is because when you're going through and doing the combat, you know, even on like Double Dragon or anything, you yeah. know, that's really base level side scrolling beat 'em up. But yeah, but on that you at least had to move planes and kind of you know you you kind of had well you got to move up and down this one that's true you did you did but what I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how I'm wording it or what I need <laughs> I what I'm trying to explain here because. Yeah. You would have where the the enemy, maybe it's the AI issue, because the enemy would not sit there and just take it. Right. Like, you can get to a point where you just have a group, even a group of enemies, let alone one, but you just have them in a corner, and you just spam your X button, oh, and yeah. they don't do anything. Well, like, nothing. Jeremy can attest my favorite move was to uppercut everybody so they landed flat on their back, and then I just beat them right. into a pulp while they're lying on and the so ground. You, you, you get to a little, a little later, as we progress through, there was a couple enemies that kind of broke a little bit, yeah. like, would be able to get an attack in, but usually they couldn't react fast enough when you just sit there hitting your X button. Yeah. So I could just have a whole pack of them almost off screen and if if you didn't let them go you could just no. beat them and they take a lot of damage too yes. so it's a lot of hacking on them now granted later enemies are a, a little more that's true strategy and there are important. some bosses and, and we yes there are bosses and mini bosses um but it is it is a grind it, it definitely totally is no it definitely is i mean i played through single player i got through the entire game with the warrior i got up to level 33 there's an achievement for reaching top level hmm. so it's above thirty three. I can guarantee you that. My guess is probably fifty. Yeah, um, and that's Ugh. that's with me going back and replaying some levels Ooh. already. Yeah. So now uh, you do get a multiplier. Uh, so if you're continuing successful hits, uh, it'll increase your multiplier until you get hit or until there's too long of a period between hits. Mm-hmm. Um, and the multiplier, I think, increases the amount of XP that you get off of the characters. Um, yeah, because it was given that bonus when you would right. get because we got up to higher. like ninety nine. There were a couple. Th- I mean, that's that's what Jeremy was talking about, where we we're just totally exploiting the the, remember, the hits on them. Remember that time we were playing? And I'm like, oh look, we both got ninety nine. Yes. You were in one corner, I was in the other yes, corner, and we both basically. had ninety nine multiplier, and mm-hmm. we we're just like continuing just to beat all the guys. Well, it, on the it was even easier to do that with two players because you could isolate them. <laughs> exactly. With one player, there was always you know because guys true. would run in from both sides of the screen, and so uh, you know in single player, I would have to then dodge out and then you know kind of 
of restabilize myself. You do collect gold as you go through as well. I, I like, there's yeah. aspects I do like of the game. I like that you change up the weapons. You can kind of upgrade those as yep. you go along, that enemies can drop those weapons. Because there's loot. Uh, exactly. <laughs> you can't grind without loot. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then, you know, you can go to those those city parts yep. in between where it's like a village and you can buy things like mm. buy potions, um, like healing potions. There's and... also, we didn't get to do this, but there's also challenges for every level. Um, okay, yeah. Where there's a dude who has you set a bet. I think you have to pay 100 gold or something, mm -hmm. at least in the first village. Mm -hmm. um, and then he sets a challenge in one of the levels, and the challenge is either, you know, get through the level without dying or get a certain score or get through it in a certain time. Um, and if you complete that, then you get a shitload of cash uh, as a prize. That's nice. cool. Yeah. But even like, I, I like that they have those uh, different weapons in mm -hmm. there you can choose from or buy or like upgrade your armor. But there's really not. They don't really explain this, but the different types of weapons do different things too. Like I think I think the axe cannot be blocked or oh, something really? like they that. Oh, really? They don't tell you anything about it's, that. It's, it's in, well, actually, I think there's an achievement for reading all the pages in the manual. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good because, way to do it. Because that's where it tells you all. So that, basically so. there's an achievement for paging through all the pages in the manual. No, you have to like spend four seconds on each page. I can do that. <laughs> wow. You're still going to refuse to read it. Exactly. He's going to be looking at it. I'm not, I refuse to read I'm it. I'm not reading you. I got that achievement without well, reading anything. You're, you're flipping through while flipping <laughs> off the screen with one hand. No, he just That's flips right. and then he turns the, turns the TV over to the channel and he starts watching something for about a little bit. No, I just leave it guy. over on the TV this and is, then just page forward. What happened to picture in picture? Does TVs have picture in picture they, anymore? So, yeah, they do. Oh, okay. I thought that was old school. Uh, remind me of that when we're done with that. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> Sweet. Uh, awesome. But what I was to say about the weapons is that <laughs> even though I like that they have different weapons in there and that you yep. can change it up, there's really still very little change in them they, oh, they yeah. have like an element I mean, they have a different elemental attack sometimes um, although, although those can be big changes those are cool uh and then it's just basically a, a generic attack uh, number yeah. increase mm, is all it right. does or with so, the armor it's damage so they're still you know kind of generic uh and you are you know getting experience like craig mentioned you do level up you and level you get up two points per level you get to put those into different uh, four different categories <laughs> the same basic categories you know attack <laughs> defense right, what is generic. it speed and yeah something yeah something like dexterity <laughs> dexterity know, something's yeah. in there Anyway, so but the main guy I played was the rogue so far. I haven't yeah. spent a lot of time with anybody else, and he's got like Craig mentioned a range attack, a bow attack. Yeah. Uh, and I had issues with that uh, that I wouldn't stop bitching about when we were playing. And that surprise, is surprise. that is the fact that you can do your range attack, but you can't walk backwards doing your range attack. So you can move, and so if you're doing your range attack, and then want to like if a guy's coming up at you, yeah. and you want to move back and kind of still shoot him with the range attack. Your guy turns around and starts shooting the other direction. Oh. You shoot in the direction that you point with your stick. Mm -hmm. So you can't like because the dudes can come up behind you, right? Well, that's I mean that's good, but they Believe should me. have it. Come on, you would bitch about it if you couldn't. They turn should around have like some kind of button you. that you can hold that would keep you stationary or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> you want more well, buttons. As, as like the bow's drawn that you can keep walking backwards. Yeah, Re regardless if the bow's drawn, bow's drawn, you're going to be facing that direction. No, right. no, 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 no. It's, it's not like okay. he's not like he's holding a power shot. He is rapid firing. It oh, sounds it like he's masturbating when he's oh. doing it. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. kind of game. Really wet noises. <laughs> uh, okay. That's why I kept shooting all the time because it was funny. It was <laughs> like, <laughs> I, yeah, it's just like, oh, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, like, Enjoy that audience. It's like bats. Here's here's what's playing. Uh, here's how it is to play the game with me. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> now imagine that all the time. Why was I turning away there? I, I don't know. You can't escape it. I'm like, <laughs> it's in your head. Away. I'm like, it won't go So away. I don't know. It's pretty generic and pretty basic. Um, I, I, I wish it wasn't 1,200 points because I think that's going to turn a lot of people off. Because yeah, it does seem it's, very it's more good. suited for an 800. Yeah, you're right. But it's best when you can play a multiplayer and, you know. You need multiple people I, to play I'm, it. I'm really glad that you mentioned that you had it because I kept checking to see if anybody ha was playing the game. Because oftentimes there's like at least one person on my right. uh, friends list that has tried out. Well, like you mentioned, my games. It, I mean, it's a grind. It is a grind. It and that's not is. always, and this kind of game is not fun to do that by yourself. Hmm. So it's, no, it's more fun. Yeah. To, when we played together, like I went uh -huh. from level zero to 17. Oh, yeah. And that was super fast, and it didn't feel like that long that we that played. Fun. Well, I might we fought the big like tree boss a long time, but <laughs> moss beard or something, <laughs> something like that. That dude was huge. Tree beard, tree beard. I think that's Lord of the Rings. I think so. Uh, but then they did have day one My DLC, beard. which we haven't checked out as of yet. Um, yeah, it's just an additional chapter. It's right? an it's an and additional a couple act. bonus yeah, levels. Yeah, it's like a swamp level or something, if I remember. So correctly. that was day one DLC for five hundred yeah. more or four hundred more points. I think that's the reason it had that's two stars weird. on it. Yeah, for for a rating because the game itself does, isn't rated that lowly. I never understand the motivation behind that. 
why they would put that out day one. I don't know. Like, uh, well, I mean, I understand there, there is the truth that it takes a long time Correct. to get things through certification with Microsoft. And so, you know, if it didn't take a lot, like maybe they had this in the hmm. works, but they were trying to hit a deadline. And I'm fully aware you know. of the fact that, you know, day one DLC doesn't mean that it's something that could have been put into the normal game right. as well, because those work on different timelines and different schedules. Exactly. And that doesn't when they come out at the same time, Usually doesn't mean that they team. were done at the same time. Yeah. Exactly. So there's yeah. lots of factors yep. in there. So. But my point being is it's, that it, there's a lot of people that don't understand it's that. It's a slap in the face for a lot it's of people. A, yeah, I just at least give a couple weeks, you know. <laughs> Hold and, on to it. Just, but then I... Do you really need to release it right <laughs> now? That's what yeah. I'm saying. Because it's not even that expensive, I don't think. It was five bucks. Was it five bucks? Yeah, it's oh, 400 points. It was a couple bucks. So that's, that's the thing. It's yeah. like you're already buying the $15 game, which we said maybe should have been... An, you know, at a different level. I, I and just then think here's five dollars more for DLC on day I one. I think more people would give it a try if it was eight hundred. I agree. Points instead of twelve hundred. I think it's fun. Yeah, I liked it. Hmm. Yeah. It'll be on the next episode mixed. of Grindcast. <laughs> Grindcast. I give it a five out of ten. Five out of ten grinds. Five out of ten grinds. Ring, the- ring, 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 ring. <laughs> that, that's how grind, I do it. Grind, grind. Are those clockwise or counterclockwise? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Should we move on? God Oh, that's mode. back and forth. Man. God mode. I don't know anything about this. So 800 just... points from old school games. This is a first person shooter co op game where you're escaping from hell. <laughs> with tons. Of... Aren't I always? Well, it, but it's, it's ridiculously yes, over the top. It man. is. Like, it's got a lot of character customization as well uh, mm-hmm. in sort of that Team Fortress 2 vein. Yeah. Um, and. And it was pretty. I, I mean, it's online only. Yeah, I believe. I think so. When I played the demo, I think there was a lot, and the, along the lines of the the Batman Gotham City imposters. Yes, in, in, yeah, the, sure. in that kind of vein. Well, except you're not playing against other yep. other people. Well, true. You're just yep. playing against the computer. Mm-hmm. It's it's kind of like if you teamed up with a bunch of people to play uh, like Quake. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or something like that. Cool. You know. Uh, it's it was pretty it was pretty cool. It goes through different waves, and then mm-hmm. you have to walk through a teleporter. And in the demo, you're not allowed to get um, experience points or something because yeah. it, it kept notifying me that <laughs> you, you cannot you cannot get these experience points. Yeah. Here's this things you demo. can't get. Yeah, pretty much <laughs> until you buy it. <laughs> pretty much <laughs> jerk. <laughs> but it had, it had a crazy variety of enemies and yeah. I don't know. It, it, I don't, yeah, I, I had fun playing with the random people that I played with. Mm-hmm. Uh, we worked well to pretty well together, but it, it wasn't a super challenging game either. No. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's just shoot, 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 shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I do know. I was kind. Of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you didn't care for yeah. it so much. I it just was it. Yeah. I I when I already have kind of games like that, you know, yeah. that I don't play I, uh, anymore. Ahead. Yeah. I have them and I I can still play them. Which one is like it? Well, like I I mean anything that's like any multiplayer game like that. I don't. You mean like multiplayer shooter game? Any multiplayer? Any multiplayer game? I rarely. Any multiplayer game? I rarely. Monaco. I (laughs) rare. Just like it. I haven't played it. Don't fight, guys. I don't play multiplayer. It's it's hard for me to get like <laughs> invest fight, really. invest in a, like a multiplayer only. But it's game. not. But it's not a competitive game. It's I understand. A co- it's a cooperative. I game. understand that. But I that think means you, just mean I you don't want to always people. play with people. Yeah, that's what you're trying to say. And sometimes I like you stories. Can say that. I like okay. stories too. You, we can pretend they're bots. I know. They don't talk? I like I like story. I like a beginning and an end. I feel like oh if yeah, I, there's not really. A story. I know. And if I play a game and I like accomplish something, like I feel like I'm you'll get out of hell. Well, yeah, but I'm in hell. It's not for real. I'm in hell now. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm in hell now. Is Halo for real? (laughs) Halo's for real. Okay. Halo is a documentary. I got a little worried there. (laughs) I I thought maybe when I was playing Halo Wars, I was not directing troops to their death. Halo is Because I was terrible. It is real. The only real real. real real game is 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. (laughs) Well, yes. That's the only real game. That that is a documentary. That is a documentary uh, slash... (laughs) Autobiography slash expose X slash expose slash awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one. All right. Uh, do you anything else about God Mode? Or are we good? No, actually, I mean it's, it's pretty just, straightforward yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. A lot, a lot of simplistic games, but uh, doing what they do pretty well. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's good. What's next in the timeline? Uh, Far Cry Three Blood Dragons. Nice. That Blood one I know. Dragon. Blood Dragons. Now I loved Far Cry Three. Far I never Cry, played Far Cry. Far 3. Cry Three was my game of the year last year, mm-hmm. and so when I heard this was coming out, I was super excited. And then I played it, and I fucking love it. <laughs> it got, is so over the top. Yes, it is definitely it's over a the top. little too over the top in some areas, but I I think it's yeah. Awesome. 
I here it gets a little much. Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, I thought it was funniest when it was you know playing things seriously, like playing it straight. Yeah, like as in like well, this is just really cheesy. Uh, and I thought it was to- completely unfunny when it was actually genuinely trying to be like here's a joke, trying to be funny. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm like, oh, I agree. Shut with you. up. That's funny. Yeah, they should really have taken the serious role, to, like turn to it, where it's like not jokey, yeah, yeah. and like totally just played serious, well, like what, play it straight. Yeah. That's so, so the idea of the game is that it. Well, they put it out as DLC as a an XPL. No, 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 I'm no, sorry, no, not no, DLC. No, 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 no. They did not put no, it out no, as no, DLC. No. Is what I meant to say. Uh, and they put it out it's, as an XBLA it, game. It has basically nothing to do with Far Cry Three, other than they basically took all their mechanics and the gameplay elements. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they didn't. Which, they didn't bother reprogramming any of it. It's a stuff. brilliant call for them to make. Nice, in my well, opinion. Like, I, I think it's so smart. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to jump to this here. You know, I liked this a lot because I don't play a lot of the first person shooters because, for one thing, I know most of them are trying to uh, sell their multiplayer aspect, mm-hmm. and I don't mm-hmm. play a lot of the multiplayer for the first person shooters um and i know you know a lot of people argue that that's necessary in order to justify a full 60 dollar price for things because right. single sure. single player campaigns go pretty quickly mm-hmm. and you know there's a certain point where you hit where you're just kind of cleaning things up and you're not really doing a whole yeah. heck of a lot so pricing it at 1200 points mm-hmm. putting it as a downloadable title of just the i mean we've seen lots of shooters go with the just multiplayer available as a downloadable mm-hmm. title. right yeah. But this is the, this is the single player campaign, and I love that because right. it was it was like it was catered to me, and it's and it's a more streamlined version of Far Cry Three. Yeah, um, you know, so take out strip out just the gameplay elements and take out all the extra, you know, add on mm-hmm. uh, more. Uh, like the crafting and all that. Yeah, they stuff, they yeah. took out the crafting. They really boiled everything down to the basic elements. Mm-hmm. And you know, even to the point where you don't have to put any you you gain levels in the game, but you don't have oh, to put yeah. anything into you like certain abilities. abilities. They give you automatic cool. ones at each thing. And they're the same abilities that you would choose from in Far Cry 3. Oh, really? Hmm. But now you get them automatically. Yeah, they're exactly the same down I to see. the definition and everything, which is awesome because I was super familiar Although, with them when I went in and looked at them. Well, that's pretty awesome. Although I did find that uh, you know, like five different takedowns <laughs> uh, was maybe a little excessive, especially because because uh, I didn't get most of them till the very end of the game, and I'm like, oh fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know, in in the in regular Far Cry Three, and maybe that's part of the problem with them you know, implementing all that stuff from there, because you could kind of craft where you wanted to go, yeah, sure, and so you could kind of put those into them early, yeah. yeah. And in this, it's a set. Here's at this level, you get this ability, yeah. Um, so if they put a lot of those towards the end, yeah, I can see that being a little goofy. <laughs> Yeah. Now I did like I you know I always like when they allow you to approach the game in however you want. You can run in guns blaze. Yep. You can be a guns blazing mm-hmm. kind of action hero. You can be a stealthy commando. It brought back sneaking, everything I loved about Far Cry Three. Well, that's great. However, I find the beginning really pushes the stealth. Like because I had a hard time getting the game started. Okay. Because there, well, there are a couple problems. One is that. Um, there's this long drawn out, like after you get through the first like little chapter that's kind of divided by itself and, and then you get the game started proper. Yeah. And I have to tell you, I have to play that first part four times. I did too. Well, and you say, cause you'd lost a save file. I think that I quit before I was done with that chapter and there was no point that it let me save. In that's what that. I was going to talk about. There's like it's this terrible, there's like this 45, you know, half hour long sequence, like, where you have to get through this base and basically clear out all the bad guys. Yeah. But you have to be stealthy because you're fucking terrible at shooting guys <laughs> because you have no weapons. Mm. You know, uh and no good weapons. No good weapons. Yeah. Uh and so you're not really gonna be able to take dudes out and uh uh it's a pain in the ass. And so yeah. So I got I got through a bunch of it and then I went to try and save in the menu, and it's like, you can't save while you're in a mission. Yep. It'll just use your last checkpoint. I'm like, well, I assume there's a decent checkpoint in here. That's somewhere. exactly what I did. Like maybe when I picked up those important twice hidden objects, yeah, same here. <laughs> nice, sucked. Well, because first time ass. I played through it because I played through the demo, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, oh yeah, I love right. this. I'm gonna do it. So, I think I just straight up. So that was it. the one time. Yeah. I did so then my second time I did that and I played a little bit, and then I went back the next day to play it, and there was nothing there, and I'm like, what the fuck? Because it's like it gave you that thing saying it'll automatically save at checkpoints. Yeah. Which it didn't get to a save point though. Yeah. So there was difference between checkpoints and save points right. uh, that I didn't apparently know. Oh. So then the next day I went in to go oh. play it again. <laughs> and so, I see. So I, and then I had to start over from the beginning. So I did it at the beginning. Yeah. 
And I'm like, well, let me see if this saved it. So I started again. I'm like, well, it's fucking not there. So I had to restart it from beginning again. That was my fourth time through. And yeah. that beginning tutorial part was ass well, and four you, times in a row. Because oh, yeah, it makes you do all this stuff for control-wise. Right. Well, and... You know, everybody who's talked about it has bitched about the the tutorial because this oh, is one because this is one of the points where they're trying really hard to be funny by having yeah right. And, but the thing is, is that it's a it's the shitty tutorial, uh, and so then they have uh, um, Rex Colt Power Colt, yes. voiced by Michael Bain. Michael Bain, yeah. uh, <laughs> bitching it's about it the whole time as, as how terrible it is, and it it goes out of its way to be terrible, and everybody's like. Okay, that does not make it funny. <laughs> it is still terrible, and you are putting us through this. Te- and you know that I, I thought about the idea of like, oh my god, I would never want to replay this from the, from the start <laughs> yep, because yep. I would not want to go through that damn tutorial again. And did it four times. Well, yeah, I know. See, you mean again? I now. didn't go all the way because no, um, I did. Uh, You're I, a braggart. I started at the point where you you meet the blood dragons. Okay. Like that was the sa- that was the half hour long thing that I was thinking of. But no. I- I'm sure that first chapter yeah. is is the same thing. Yep. But yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so no, no, there you can be guns a blazing, but yeah, it's later that you have to be all stealthy and I'm like, Woo action here you know, because this is over the top shit. <laughs> right, right, and I'm right. like, let's do this and then I get mowed down and I'm like Fuck. You know, we even talk about the story, but the idea of the story <laughs> yes. is that it's an eighties version of the two thousand seven. Yes. So it's like a post apocalyptic neoned out eighties cybernetic. Yeah, everything cybernetic. So it's like two thousand seven in the through the eye of somebody in the eighties. You know, which is awesome. Somebody recently put I loved uh, it. I was on Twitter and they linked to a YouTube video that's like all these openings for these cheesy eighties um science fiction and fantasy shows. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. one of them was Auto Man. <laughs> And I actually <laughs> vaguely remember this show where it was this dude and he would like turn into like like his clothes would turn into like this Tron like suit and he could create vehicles like and they would all they what? would all they would all look like because there's like a helicopter and a car. Oh, you, I, I I've never seen it, but I have seen like pictures of it. Yes, because, yes, yes, here. yes. But <laughs> been, but yeah. everything looks looks everything in Far Cry Three looks yeah, like looks like Blood Dragons <laughs> looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> No, but it, it, there's some really crazy cool stuff in there. Although I found that because you're going around, you know, there's lots of there's like seven main missions that you have to do. If you want to blitz through it, you can. Yeah. But there's all these garrisons to free and hmm. you can get these side missions to rescue hostages and yeah, things like it's that. It's like Far Cry 3 when yeah. but it's you have a smaller area. So well, you cool. still but it's yeah. it's exactly the same gameplay. There's like little base camps that you have to yeah. raid basically and clear out. And that's what brought it back to Far Cry 3 for me, mm-hmm. which even six months out now, I've kind of forgotten yeah. uh, everything I loved about the game. Yeah. But uh, it's like coming up on those bases and then like getting your sniper rifle out and like tagging everybody and like or, marking them on your map so that you can see them and you can see how many people there are. Or right. shutting down the mega shields and then attracting a blood dragon to run in there and kill everybody for <laughs> you. Because the blood dragons. There's big dragons that run around that shoot lasers out their eyes. Yes. And you can, you when you... So they're the, al- rip they're the animal the element of this game? There, there, are, are, there are other, other animals, animals. I know, like, but I'm just saying they are part like of it. Metal like, manta rays. They're part of it, yeah. Robo, but, uh, robo, everything's, robo alligators. Everything's cybernet- cybernetic out. The cyber sharks or mutated, like the mutated yaks or whatever yeah. they are. I was wondering what, like, cyber I thought it was Kano, yeah. like a Kano prequel because of the, the, <laughs> so the like, yeah. cover art. It looks bit. like Kano with hair. Basically, uh, you can I, see a blood dragon behind him. There's still a bunch, lasers. a ton of collectibles to find. Which it, again, they do the right thing by telling you where all the collectibles are at or letting you purchase that. Do they do the right thing because he bitches about collecting collectibles, just like the same. <laughs> well, yeah, he's like, I hope I don't have to get any fucking flags. I know, but here's the thing: I I basically were, was able to buy. I like how they every, tell you where they're at. Every reveal for it, yep. like two hours into the game. Yeah. Nice. Like two hours into the game, I knew where every collectible was. And I'm like, so then it was kind of like, mm, I don't know about this. Plus, just running around and getting everything. Yeah. It's fun. It is kind of. But it, it was also kind of fun, you know, looking at things because, you know, all the TVs are always in those like old temple looking places. Mm-hmm. Some of them were underwater and, and cool shit it's like that. It's part of that. But... You know, what I liked about the original game was like, it looks on surface okay. It's like a bunch of. It looks great. There's nice mm-hmm. terrain that you're running around in, and then you find these like hidden things that are like these temple like looking things. And there's some even bigger ones in Far Cry Three yeah. proper. Yeah. And that stuff was awesome because you're like, how? I was just walking over the top of this mountain, and then you can go in it, and there's this huge thing that's yeah. under here, and it's really awesome. Looking. I gotta admit, my favorite was hang gliding my commando into the middle of the garrison, <laughs> and just dropping yeah. down in there and blowing shit up. <laughs> yes. Fucking everybody. You can out. upgrade. You can upgrade the weapons in ridiculous ways. You usually purchase those from um, after you've completed missions. Yep. So you know, I had like a four-barreled shotgun that shot ex- 
explosive shells or something. No, no, my well, sniper rifle. <laughs> it was it was the most unstealthy sniper rifle on the planet. Who gives a shit? Because it's fucking awesome. Because you'd shoot a dude and he'd explode. Yep. And then everybody's like, "What the fuck was that?" I have cars awesome. driving straight at me, and I pull my sniper rifle out and I shoot the guy driving, and the thing just fucking explodes. It killed me the other night because it exploded and hit, it hit me. Hit you. <laughs> Like it exploded at me. That was great. <laughs> and it ran. You, you forgot to turn around and walk slowly away from the explosion. I forgot. Come I on. didn't have time. I should have ducked. You should and have rolled over my head. Yes. Does it allow you to back up and shoot in this game? It does. Yeah. You can back up you, and shoot. You should should have done that. I should have done it. <laughs> I should have shot him you sooner. Is what I should have done. Yes. I didn't give myself enough clearance. What does it say you about? You totally the... did like the the like the head click, you know, and you were totally you know, like aiming, <laughs> taking a slow motion, and I will say I played with headphones shot. on too, and I had to stop. Oh, yeah. Because every time you move, he's vroom, 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 oh. vroom, vroom, vroom. and you don't hear it as much when you're no, like in the regular speakers. But when I put the headphones on, every move was vroom, 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 vroom. Funny. like when he'd run, when he'd move his arms, anything. So, what I was gonna say about the collectibles though is you find like there's televisions to find, there's these files, and then there's VHS tapes. Yeah. So, while that's funny, and the more you get of those, they unlock other uh, weapon features. Right, right. Uh, I wished that there was something more to those. You know, I wished finding like those VHS tapes would like give you some kind of little you know like joke weird? or something. Well, what's weird like is that footage. the achievement description for the television collecting says mm-hmm. you uh, you know you found all the televisions and pieced together the mystery, and I'm like. What the fuck am I missing? Because you know, yeah, I, I know. tried going. I don't, I don't really know if I'm doing anything, something wrong. They don't there say anything in game wise what they do or like what no. they're there. Like, for. why the fuck am I picking up a television? Right. So it's not like that's. And then Michael Bain complains about picking up television, <laughs> and I'm like, thanks, game. Fucking. I can complain for TVs. myself. Yeah. <laughs> something lame like that. What are you gonna make me go around and? Collect dingleberries next. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds about right. What you would hear, and then you'd be there. like, oh, <laughs> barely. You could have wrote for him. And then the I music did. is fucking awesome. The it music is, is, is incredible. <laughs> I gotta try this game. The music's awesome. It's pretty good. I'm well, upset I said that I didn't. I'm mad you didn't. I like. I like how it's it. Like it blends seamlessly. Like it works like a soundtrack. Yeah. The I've listened to the soundtrack. I, the day after I bought it, I listened to the soundtrack like for six hours at work. <laughs> I didn't listen to it that many. It times, did not but... do well for my uh, for my motivation for the day. <laughs> kind of just wanted to go home. Yeah. So anyway, I That's highly recommend games. the game, especially if you love Far Cry Three. I yeah. mean, and especially if you although, love that '80s nostalgia. Stuff. Although I have to say, like, it, it doesn't have, like I was saying, it doesn't have that appeal to start over from the beginning. And then as you get towards the end, like it just it does drag a little bit because as you've cleared out the area from enemies. Then there's fewer enemies around. Yeah, like oh, because that's, that's cause my them. my last couple of cleanup achievements were like to kill blood dragons. Yeah, and I'm like I can't fucking find them, and I had to go online and figure out a, like a exploit to ge- generate blood dragons, and <laughs> you know, and everywhere I fucking go, there's scientists fighting uh uh leftover commandos, and I'm like oh my god, I gotta help you guys again. Oh by the way, <laughs> first fucking level, I f- I finish off all the commandos. Scientist dudes come in. Yep. But there's a blood dragon still in the place, so they <laughs> yeah. start opening fire on it. Yeah. No explanation to me that these guys are friendly. Right. I had the same problem. I, I'm like, oh, these guys, you know, they're they're because... a wimpier enemy. So I start shooting them. They get pissed off. And all of a sudden, it's the fucking clown car of scientists <laughs> with guns. They are literally never ending coming out. And I didn't realize this. So I'm like, oh, there's got to be an end to this. Because I keep thinking they're, they're enemies. Yeah. And so I keep shooting them. And then they're, they're shooting me. Oh, man. And then more of them come in. I'm like, oh, my God. Who are these fucking guys? And then I figured out later they're friendly. <laughs> And they're trying to say, dude, stop. And you're blowing up their shit like, right before they step out. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I know I have the same problem. Well, the problem is that at the beginning you walk through these levels where you're yeah. killing bad guys and they're in there working. Yeah, yeah. They're like the scientist right, guys right. are in there working. But yeah. so you kind of group them together mentally yeah. by the time that, sh- that you get to that level. I'm like, well, I guess there are other guys. <laughs> they're running at me. I'm going to shoot them. I know, right? <laughs> well, they, mine guys had guns out because they're I'm shooting, shooting at the blood everything. dragon. They're trying to fight it off. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, my out. God, they're going to come after me. I'm like, I can sneak up on them. And I started to <laughs> Well, that was the thing, because I killed one, and then I tried to loot it. And I'm like, I can't loot this body. What's going on? And then they're starting to shoot me. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go hide behind these barrels. That should have been the sign. It should have been. You can't loot But then I got shot at. If they if they had allowed me, like, ten seconds to think about it, I probably would have figured it out. Here's the thing I would have been like, know about... oh, shit, sorry, guys. Here's the thing about Professor Dresser you all need to know. He should get one free kill. 
<laughs> if he walks into a mall uh-huh. and kills a guy, Look, don't react. I'll say my Tell bad. Tell him it's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> he get, do you get that per location, like a movie theater, <laughs> supermarket? Uh, it depends. It depends if you look similar to other people. <laughs> So like if I can recognize similar. you, then uh, and I know not to shoot. So that if you walk in somewhere person. like oh, like in a restaurant, like yeah. a uniforms, yes, <laughs> that, that's very. <laughs> you get to kill one waitress, confusing for me, and then they can tell you to correct, dude. That's not cool. And you're like, and I'm like oh, my bad, my bad. I'm glad you guys didn't start shooting me. I would have burned this place down. <laughs> I would have. Yeah. I would have burned the fuck out of this. <laughs> All right. Don't back me in no corner. <laughs> you, guys, you guys did this. You brought this on yourselves. Oh, I'm jealous. What happened to the Fridays? <laughs> oh, Craig went in. <laughs> Is that what happened? That's now? what happened to it. That's nice. what happened. Sorry. That's, That's what happened to the Chi-Chi's yeah. that we had that burned down. You did it. I'm not you. saying anything. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right. I did, done? I did used to go to that Brugger's that burned down in Iowa City a lot. <laughs> so, That's all I'm saying. Could be? Yeah. All right. It's on. We're recording this. People can hear this. <laughs> All right, it uh, find me. move on. Are we done with Far That's Cry? I throw a smoke bomb. Oh, we love man. it. Yes, yeah, it's, it was pretty good. Whatever. Right. What's next? I um, played Way of the Dog instead of that game. <laughs> and how was Way of the Dog? I played, I played Way of the Dog too. I can't even remember how much it was. Uh, eight hundred. I think it is eight hundred. Eight hundred. This happened before. Uh, is that dog with two G's? Yes. yes. It, before. No. It, yeah. Before he changed it to lion. So no. This is oh, no because really? he's Snoop Lion in there. Is Cause he? Because he, he's wearing his Rasta gear and all. Oh man. But or is or no, I saw a commercial for it or something. There I, don't know. You go. I saw a trailer for it where he was he was advertising it. There you go. This is the most confusing game that I've played in a while. <laughs> I'm confused Why already. Is that confusing? Only because I can't. I... You can't play it. So that okay, way you don't so the like game it? starts off and it's a rhythm game, rhythm fighting, rhythm fighting game. Yes, a Snoop Dogg rhythm fighting game. Rhythm fighting game. I'm out. The rhythm Already. is going to get you. Did but you, um, you so, fight to the dog. So you <laughs> don't <laughs> say that. Dog. <laughs> so you, there's a nice there's a nice trial, and I was having a little problem with that because I wasn't reading the screen. You mean the tutorial? Tutorial is what I was where trying to say. It's a black screen except for it telling you what you want, yes. what it wants you to do. It's always black with you, Craig. But there was one part where I had a problem, <laughs> like, and I about quit. Like, unfortunately, my face did not come <laughs> <in> across. <laughs> Sorry, right, John. Go I ahead. about rage quit this game because I did not read it. Yeah. And and it had two things to do, and one you had to hold the button, yeah, and then let go, yeah. And the one underneath it, you had to tap the button, right? But I wasn't paying attention. You didn't read those two things. Yes, no, it, I read it, the. First... It, was, it was literally the bar that with two hits on it, and then the text in white yes. underneath it, and then another bar, and then another bar, and with then more a text. line in white underneath. Yes, it. yes, it is not difficult. No, it's not. But for me, it was. It so prove challenging. Why do they need to do that to games? So then the gameplay starts. Why they gotta mess it up? Yeah, why they gotta tell me what to do. So now the game starts, and so you're fighting this guy, this okay. angel face or something like that. Yeah. Are you Snoop in the game? No, you're no, some, you're, you're some dude. You're America Jones. Yes, it's, it's like this. Yes. It's like this black exploitation. <laughs> yeah, send totally. Up yeah, and yeah. All America that stuff. Jones. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because there's like these gangs, and there's gonna be like evil white uh, uh-huh. uh, business owners and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. The Wu Tang wasn't a part of it, but <laughs> it it got, it's, it's it's got should've a very been. cool vibe Wu-Tang. of Wu Tang. I mean, RZA should have been See, there. We could have mixed in, yeah. I yeah. mean, like we could have had the dog Fu, yes, with the the Wu Tang style, yes. and some Shaq Fu, yes. Shaq Fu. Oh, Shaq needs a job. Niggins. So anyway, so then the job. <laughs> so then I I fight, and I thought I had this guy beat, and then at the end of it, and oh. then you don't because this guy cheats. Yeah, he's it's it's part of the story. Spoiler. So then at the end, it's like, and that's how it starts. And that's like Snoop Dogg. He's like, and that's how it starts. And, and you're holding ends. some woman. Yeah. So she must have got beat up by this angel face after you were knocked out on it the ground. It skips a few elements. Okay. So it's got a very double dragon style, but yeah, they don't bit. kidnap her. They kill her. Oof. And then that's it. I thought you might Hardcore. go to another fight just to try it out. And murder well, was the case that they gave me, but I did not. I did not murder. Considering there's like, what, 14 <laughs> levels or 12 levels or something yeah. like that. I can understand why they didn't add in another one. <laughs> no, really, because yeah. you know that's going to be, you know, you get that with some of these shorter games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't, but it wasn't good either. <laughs> well, here's the thing, and I played easy, and it was easy. Yeah. Because because I saw I, you could kind of see where there might be other other button right, presses right. if you up the you know ante Difficulty. on it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cause the fighting is going on behind the screen and like, they're not always going in the same, it's not, it's not like, like a, um, 
uh, rock band or something yeah. where everything's going in one direction. It's like it might start going in one direction and then angle down and yeah. go in a different direction, okay. you know, and it's kind of matching what's happening on the screen a little bit. Or it might go in one direction, and then the next line goes in the other direction. Yeah. So you kind of, you do have to pay attention, and, and it is a little distracting, you know, with the stuff going on in the background mm-hmm. on purpose. And there are two controls you have to read to know what to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Read the tutorial when you're playing the game. Because I did. You I know, bought... the thing where you can't be distracted by anything. <laughs> I thought rage quit. That. I was like, what the hell is wrong with this? And I go, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's me that's wrong with this. <laughs> but the game, eh. yeah. I mean, so if, if anyone if, if you like the Snoop Dogg songs, it, then you should play it. Yeah, if oh, anyone out there buys it and plays it, I want to know how it ends. How <laughs> well, it wow, me. yippee yo, yippee yay. I don't know if that's on there. I bet the, I bet the man the gets him in the end. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I bet he gets I the man. That. America what? Jones? Uh, he, what? Come on, he's the Ameri- underdog. America Jones? America Jones ain't taking no shit. He's just yeah. one dude against these uh, you know, big organizations. But he's Come got on. He's got the dog. He's going to get the white devil. He's got the dog in his corner. Do they call him the white devil? Devil? No, they don't. They don't go that far. <laughs> Did I go too far? No, you went too far. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my There bad. is a big giant cracker that jumps across the screen. And For it goes, real? Cracker! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was totally... And I'm like, well, that that seems like a little far. <laughs> that seems pretty ballsy. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> That'd be um, awesome. There's a little saltine that pops in, <laughs> Mortal Kombat style, yeah, and then he cracks. Yeah. <laughs> Snap. Well, there's a the little the little salty guy. <laughs> <laughs> there was oh one of them goodness. once back in the day. Oh my god. Salty That's dog. Funny. But salty dog. But check it. <laughs> we can call ourselves it. crackers, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. But check it out. Someone play it and ruin it for me. I want to know how that girl died. <laughs> I'm going to guess she got shot. You know the internet exists, Poor right? Staff. You can find out. I know, but that means I have to look. <laughs> you want the information to come to you. You yes. can't be bothered to look. It needs to, that's why they have to put why stuff. Don't we, why don't we open up YouTube? We have to put right. browsers in my brain. We'll do it right now. And it's Ugh. just whatever I think of, it puts it on my watch list. Ugh. All right. <laughs> What's next? What's after We Have the Dog? Delete that history. We're moving on to. (laughs) Well, well, yeah, (laughs) Monaco. A lot of of XBLA. Is that it? We're off to Monaco. I think that's it. And then some Poker Night. Oh, Oh, let's do Poker Poker Night. Night. You want to do Poker Night too? All right. So this sold. I believe it sold for eight hundred points too. Because I we were lucky enough to get a a review a review copy. Lucky um, from Telltale Games, and this is poker. It is poker. It is poker. Goofy character. And you are playing with Ash. From the Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, An Army of Darkness fame. Claptrap from uh, Borderlands, mm-hmm. Borderlands Deuce. Moxie's also there. She's the the, the bartender. GLaDOS shows I up. I love the mix of people. Is she the dealer? Glad- yeah. 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 She shows up <laughs> and hangs out on the table. Title. Well, the, the table deals the cards. Uh, then you got Bron- like Gladys. Yeah, but, yeah. But you have Brock Sampson, Sam from Sam and Max. And uh, and the dialogue's really funny. You start mm-hmm. you start you start playing, and you know you don't get to chime in, but you get to sit and watch all these guys play cards and talk. Does yeah. it ever get repetitive though? There has I I played question. it I played it about well, four different times. Okay. And about the fourth time, I had some repeating dialogue. Like four, four sessions you played about it, like four different tournaments because okay. you play like tournaments. Yeah. Okay. Um. It. You know, it's all leaderboards, leaderboard, boy, leaderboard, leaderboard, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, but I like it. We can't just fuck up. We have to like harp on it yeah. for like eight minutes. I love it. Well, someone at home is. I know, and so we gotta just ruin it for them. Steal the joke for them. <laughs> exactly, because they're like, "Well, that fucking idiot just said leaderboards wrong." But yeah. then we already took it. And they're like, and they have time to like say it. Yeah, they're all Charlie Brown and at home right now. Their heads down. Please. <laughs> All right. So you like it will amount your money. Like you get so much money to play okay. a night, and if you win it all, then you've got a, a running tally. I've had negative before, and then it boosts up again. Okay. You can buy, you know, for when you win tournaments, then you can get like things to unlock chips, cards, felts for oh, the like table. Other... Yeah, mostly they're all game related. They're all related to. Each, I saw they had like person. a deck of cards, like a Borderlands deck. Yep, that's, that's cool. Looking. That's the one I have. That's awesome. And then I have like the Evil Dead chips, and then I have the um. The the, 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 the the Brock Sampson his uh, the I can't even think of the name of the show now Venture Brothers yes uh, it's a monarch it's Venture Brothers it's a monarch symbol and that's on the table uh-huh. so it's really I mean it's kind of it's really cool how, how are they at playing cards because I good because this is a sequel good we may not have heard of this but 
basically what I was when I was reading about this game, everybody was was like, I sincerely hope this is better than the first one because in the first one they were terrible at cards. Yeah. Like it did not know the rules of the game. Basically, they're pretty good about it. Okay, um, I'm I've been used to playing poker, uh, the full house poker right, against right. other people. That's why I'm asking. And I've you're been my authority. And I've been able to go like I know I can read people for some odd reason online. But in this, I went against some bets that I should not have, and there were some smart maybe, bets. Maybe it's because it's a computer. Yeah, well, they've made some <laughs> smart bets. So I mean, it's it's there are it's difficult. They yeah. they pulled well, me. Good. It's pulled me in, and they've like just totally screwed me over. Which would you prefer, <laughs> playing these against bots like this, or playing against real people like in Full House Poker? I I I if, like having if you them. Had your druthers. I like having them both because I real until this way gets, to avoid the question. I know until this gets repetitive, <laughs> this is going to take the place of full house poker because I really have a good time sitting. I mean, it's all the voices other than Ash for some odd reason. It doesn't sound like Bruce Campbell, and I no, didn't look not, at the credits. Oh, what well, it isn't? It's not him. No. But uh, the, which is weird because I haven't seen him ever turn down a paycheck. Yeah, it was odd. <laughs> I mean, but uh, yeah, so, he's yeah. Burn. But Brock no, is that's right. Suck it. Yeah. Brock is fantastic when GLaDOS shows up. It's, I mean, there's a lot of cool things to it. And once they're done with the game, they go and sit in the back of the bar, and you can kind of see him hanging out. And Moxie brings – you can bring – they can buy him drinks at the table because the, if they get drunk, you get to see their, their tells a little bit. So then they'll have tells. Oh, that's interesting. So well, I thought to that, use your cash. Yeah. One. Yeah. That's interesting, though. I like that. But I bought the that's whole funny. round one time. I bought the whole table. <laughs> and, it, and they all have different mugs. And Moxie comes up to the table and gives – it's just – there's a really nice little touch to the game. That's cool. And it, it pulled me in. And, and you can't I, do multiplayer? No, there's no So it's more. only it's single player. It's just okay. single player. That would be my only problem yeah. with it. But uh, I think for the 800 points... I checked out the demo because you know we talked about it, and I, it, something that I was going to maybe be into, but I didn't yeah. know there was no multiplayer either. But I checked out the demo, and... I, you my, know, no multiplayer. Count me in. <laughs> count me in. That sounds great. I'm buying it now. For sure. Uh one of the issues I had with it is that there's no way to speed up play if you sat out, and I and I missed that from Full House Poker. You can you can skip. You can skip it, but I want to speed it up. Oh, see, you can't because they they have the dialogue that runs. Yeah, that's but the they problem. don't have that in Full House Poker. Right. So they have that dialogue, so you can skip it the dialogue. Felt like when I wasn't in, that it still just took a long time to get through a hand. Like, mm. it, and and maybe it wasn't even when I was wanting out; it was getting around the table because everybody had to have their fucking witty comment. Yeah, <laughs> which I came out a little angrier than I meant it to. Yeah, but uh, had to have their comment, so it took long time to get. It took a long time to took get a long around. time. It took <laughs> took a long, long time. time. <laughs> took a long time to get around. <laughs> took a long time to get on down. <laughs> So, it, yeah. you know, it, the flow just wasn't as nice, sure. I found, as compared yeah. to Full House Poker. I've fallen asleep during Full House Poker, playing <laughs> yeah. those late night games. Yeah. I did not fall asleep to this game. Were you playing a late night? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I That's think an important I think distinction. It, yes, it, I agree. I agree. Come I was on. like, no, I was just in early morning. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> when I woke up. Middle of the afternoon. <laughs> but uh, oh, nice I, I fall asleep. You needed parameters for that. It's so, I, I thought it was a, it's, it's a fun, I just think it's a fun little... You know, mm-hmm. little take. I mean, if you like those characters, it's yeah. I mean, it's cool. It's funny, and all the stuff with Gladys was funny. And I was cracking up, and Claptrap. Claptrap is real. I mean, especially those too. two, like having back and forth, is really funny. Uh, Sam doesn't really talk that much, and it, it works out. Yeah, he thought Max shows up a lot more. Hmm. Now, would you recommend it thing? to someone like me? No, who fucking hates poker? No, 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 it'd be terrible. <laughs> what? It'd be the worst. And you can play what? You can play Texas play, or no. the. Uh, you can't Oklahoma. tell me what to do. Oklahoma? No, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I don't think you could play oh, it. A, that's a musical. I know. There's a, Cats? There's a state. Is that Euchre? what you're thinking of? Not euchre. That'd be awesome. Is it euchre? No, but it's full house. It crazy eights. It's full house and another brand of poker. Crazy eights. Crazy. Is it hearts? <laughs> Shut up. Is it spades? No, it's not even. I would have got maid. that. No. Uno. Old no. Maid Uno. No. Go no. fish. Uno it is Uno. Uno. It is Uno. I wish you could play go fish. Uno sounds awesome. I can't believe they put I, that in there. Why don't they put that on XBLA? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> why don't they put that? They need a deluxe version of that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Neon that bitch up. Nebraska. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a state Virginia. name. It's not Texas. Florida. Texas Hold'em and something. Montana. That's what I was thinking. Oklahoma. Alaska. No. Toronto. That's not going to help. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is it Guam? Are you telling me? <laughs> yes. The U.S. Virgin Islands? It's fucking Panama <laughs> Canal. Panama. You own the Panama. Yeah, it is. It's totally canal Panama. rules. Panama. <laughs> Are we done? 
Yes, we I, think, I, think we, I think we should retire after that <laughs> set of jokes. Should we just talk about Injustice next time? <laughs> just, be, just wrap it up. I have up on to this. talk about Monaco. Oh, that's right. Monaco. We, really oh, should have given this a, we should, really should have given this a separate episode, because I'm going to talk about this for years. That sounds awesome. So let's have you start, because I barely played it. <laughs> Monaco comes from uh, Stopwatch Games. I didn't write that down. It doesn't. It comes from uh, Pocket Watch Pocket games. Watch. <laughs> Thank you. Pocket you Watch bet. Games. And Majesco was the... Well, yeah. Just, uh, for the XBLA, yep, correct. I know. I never got that. I like I said before. I I cheated. Uh, it was supposed to come out on April twenty fourth, but at the last minute, like the Tuesday, the April twenty third, uh, they were having some issues with the online play mm-hmm. on the Xbox version, and so they sent in a patch. But it's Xbox, you know, it's Microsoft, so that was going to take a while. And they decided to pull it uh, from its release instead of releasing it, kind of buggy, which I think was a great choice yeah. because. Mm-hmm. Um, it is a good choice. Multiplayer was is a, is a fantastic aspect of it. So, uh, it's a kind of top down heist game. Oh, so you played on Steam then at that. I point, played right? it on Steam. Yeah, I went ahead and purchased. Well, this it. is an Xbox 360 yeah. podcast, so, so I guess we're not going to talk about it. Um, <laughs> duh, duh. I played it on Windows. <laughs> okay, Microsoft <laughs> time. That won't work. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks. Don't sue me. Um, I'm sorry. Top down. Well, you know what else is nice about Steam was that. Uh, because I knew I wanted to play this with other people, right? But I've been having a lot of problem with um, the XBLA games that I'm playing. Uh, just not either not synchronizing with people or nobody's buying those games yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. And so on Steam, for a lot of these cheap games, you can buy a four pack that costs as much as three copies of the game and then gift it to people. Ah, fucking, fucking awesome! And nice. so I've had I've had plenty of opportunities to play some really fun multiplayer because games. they just nice. get spread out a lot more. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's cool. Yeah, and someone even paid me back for it. Wow, that's I awesome. I didn't ask. I I, I wasn't <laughs> asking for that at all. Uh, but it, it sounds but like it was you're nice. begging for it now. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm begging for it always. <laughs> I know, I know. So um, top down high school. You love the game. Oh my god, I love this game. <laughs> you know, I was sure. Game back in. It's <laughs> it's been it's been in development for like three years or something. Yeah. It, won, it won like at the IGFs in 2010 or or whatnot uh, with a tech demo. Um, and then it's been in slow development. Uh, but it's, and so I, at first I was like, oh, this game sounds cool. And then I started looking at it and I'm like, I can't tell what's going on in these screenshots at all. <laughs> and so then, right. I, then I kind of cooled on it again and then it started coming up again and I didn't even realize it was coming out on Xbox. And so that's what actually got me excited about yeah. it again. Uh, and then I didn't play it on Xbox. <laughs> Irony. You would have. Uh, I would have. Yeah. I. I may still. You may. Still. I like the game that much that I'm seriously considering paying for it a second time. Um. If if there are people on Xbox that want to play, and um, but one of the things is what what put me off originally is that it's very pixelated, but not in sort of a. It's not retro. Mm-hmm. Like I, I would. Yeah. Not, I would not define it as no. an old school style or anything. It's. It's uh, it's much more artistically done. I, I, well, I, I kind of sound and they're artsy more, fartsy and they're more blocky that, but... than pixel. Yes, right. So, uh, and and what turned me off originally was it felt, it so, felt it felt very uh, Pac Man deluxe version for me for a little some bit. odd reason. Well, the there, colors there, are all these bright, bright like colors. Yeah. The colors and like and the so way I saw that these, the map works. I saw these screenshots stuff. and I couldn't tell you know, the what, what things were mm-hmm. you know uh, and what was going on with all the colors. It looked I'm like oh this is going too crazy for yeah. me, um, and it is a little bit of a code. It's not. It's obviously not going for realism throughout it, yeah. Uh, but there's a little bit of a code, but it's actually a very simple code to decipher mm. once you start getting into it. So basically, you're breaking into all these places in uh, Monte Carlo, um, and your maps are basically these these blueprints for the buildings that you're going in. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if you if you've never been to an area, you can only see what is within your line of sight. Mm-hmm. And so uh, as you move around, you, you're revealing different parts of the maps. And as you pass by a window, suddenly you know what's in that room or something like that. Um, and Which is almost, I mean, it's like a cone of light that comes it out. It is. That's your vision. It's a pretty, it's a pretty fun uh, thing to it's, see happening. It's a neat dynamic for that game. I, I was pretty, when, I, when you guys were playing when I got here, I was like, what is this? And then <laughs> I, immediately it drew me in. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. If you look at screenshots, it seems very intimidating. I, 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 I agree. It but if be. you actually yeah. see it in gameplay, yeah. it, you're like, oh, yeah. I understand what's going you on. You really here. need to play it to understand. Yeah, yeah basically. Happening. Yeah. 
Um, and so you can pick up items and there, there's all this money that you want to steal. You don't have to steal the money. If you don't steal the coins, then it just adds to your total time at the end. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I have totally become obsessive about like getting really fast times because, you know, there are all these people doing speed runs and, you know, half of it involves like, um, just fucking running past dudes. Anyway, so there's like, <laughs> there's like guards and just civilians around there and, you know, the, you're here, this sneaky dude sneaking around in this building that you're not supposed to be in. And so if they kind of spy you, like this question mark will start to fill over their heads. And once that fills up, then they're going to go investigate. And if they get too close and they see that, you know, you're not supposed to be there, then all of a sudden, like, it'll turn to an exclamation point and they'll start setting off alarms. It's There's some neat things like you can run away. And if, let's say you're around a corner and there's a guard following you, there'll be an exclamation point at that corner because that's the last point that they saw you. Mm. And so that kind of tells you that, well, they've lost sight of me, but they're going to come looking for me. So I better fucking hide in this closet over here or mm -hmm. something like that uh, until. Or jump in a bush. Or jump in a bush until things <laughs> calm down. There are lots of outs. There are lots but, of outs because you get caught a lot. You do shit goes crazy a lot. And it's hard. And like it's a hard that. concept at the beginning to get used to. Uh, I'm sure it was yeah. for me. Yeah, uh, because I wanted to do like perfect. You want to ghost wanna, it? Yeah, I want to totally Ugh. like get through. But you can't. I don't, I don't really know if you can. Yeah. No, because and, but you got to get over it. You got to realize, yeah. okay, the guy's gonna see me now. I can just run around this corner, hide in this bush, wait a second, and then I'm fine. And the craziest hmm. fucking shit happens when <laughs> when the shit goes wrong. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the best part. Um, so when you're playing through single player, you basically have four like, well, I'm sorry. We didn't even talk about the characters. <laughs> sorry. They're like all these different characters. Uh, they all have a different trait. Um, like the locksmith can unlock doors fat. They all have a major and a secondary trait or something like that. The, the four basic ones you start with is the, lo uh, the locksmith. He can unlock safes and doors faster. Uh, the lookout, um, if she is sneaking, if you're holding down the mm -hmm. left trigger or not moving, she can basically see everybody on the map. She doesn't get the fog of war either. She knows where all the coins are immediately, mm. but she knows what kinds of weapons they're carrying or if they're carrying weapons. And so that can be very useful. Um, there's the pickpocket who doesn't have many abilities himself, but he's got this little monkey that will run around and he'll Aww. grab coins. And so, if you get and, close enough, and it's it, it, like a little it, brown square type yeah, thing. With basically, the tail. Yeah, basically, yeah. It doesn't set off alarms. It doesn't attract guards or anything like that. So, yeah. if if you're really into, you know, grabbing money really fast, that's a good way to go. And then there's the cleaner. And these boobs. <laughs> it is. Sorry. And then there's the cleaner, uh, who if you can sneak up on somebody before they're alerted to you, uh, he'll chloroform them, so he'll knock them out. And that's who he was playing when you got here. Yeah. Sean. And yeah. Uh, he, he, he was walking he, up to everybody. Well, he kept saying he was out. the cleaner. So I knew <laughs> I got that In one. In addition, <laughs> you know, later, you, later you get the gentleman who has auto disguises. Uh, you get the nice. hacker who can, uh, well, because you can go to computers and like basically type, you know, hack in a virus and then the virus will follow you around, which is, which is which awesome. By awesome. The way. And it like turns off lights and diffuses like uh, security alarms. And cool. But it always flies. goes to the one that's closest to you. Yeah. Basically so, like, it follows your, it's, your trajectory. It's like around. cursor in uh, Tron. Yeah, I loved it. Oh. Or, no, that wasn't cursor blip. No. Anyway, yeah. that's, <laughs> this is really it. not a way to go. <laughs> All right. But, it. but the, the hacker, the hacker does that faster. Plus he can also do that to outlets. Like oh, nice. any outlet he finds. And so, I wondered why those were sitting around there because there's a lot of those. And so you fucking can have like half a dozen of those things just swirling around the, the mate. And it's like this awesome like scene uh, of like this. Th it's like this power cloud that you're walking through as everything shuts down as he slowly moves <laughs> around through the area. It's really cool. It put Throw a disguise on and nobody's recognizing you. The, the fucking hacker is the pimp and, and then some, that's but then, but, but then he runs out of outlets and computers and he's like i've got nothing to fucking do now <laughs> but that's where the the whole multiplayer thing you were talking about comes in because now you have a guy who's the hacker oh my and God. so he's like i'm just gonna run over here and fuck it's all this so shit good. up you guys go around and do it's everything so you want it's so good so you can play it single player in which case you get four lives if you die that character is dead you you restart at the beginning of that level but all of the stuff that you collected is collected yeah. like like if you kill dudes, they're still dead. Mm. You know, if you collected shit, it's still collected. But you ha you have to go back to the place that you entered the area. Okay. Uh, but that character is dead for that level. So you, you know, if you played the locksmith, yeah, too bad. Can't use the locksmith again. And since you're generally choosing your favorite or the best character for that level, you know, you have it forces you to kind of think outside the box and, yeah. and to try different things out. Mm -hmm. And I actually like that a lot. If you play with multiplayer, you get one life basically. But you, 
you can save each other. So if you if you die, you're like a skeleton. And then there's like this warning saying, ah, help me. And so your partner can come over and revive you. It takes a long process. You have to do it for a while. So if you were a fucking dumbass and ran into the <laughs> middle of like this place where three guards are sitting constantly. Yes, I probably was. <laughs> then you're, I'll just save us some time. Then your partner is fucking screwed because <laughs> they're just going to look at you. Yeah. Um, but it is... It is phenomenal because there are so many times when I was playing through single player and there would be points where I'd be like, ah, I really fucking wish I had a distraction so I could get this fucking guard out of the way. And so then, you know, whether it's meant to or not, a lot of times you know, it's like one of you just runs through the room and all of a sudden the guards are like, what the fuck was that? And they run off and then the other guy runs in there and types on the computer or something <laughs> yeah. like that. And it's and it's great. And you know, it's just led to some really crazy situations. You know, all, all, you're both sneaking around. All of a sudden, one dude, you know, accidentally fucks something up, and all of a sudden, there's alarms going off, and you both run off in different directions. <laughs> and it's like Keystone Cops going, and you know, and it leads to some great experimentation for things. I was telling Jeremy about uh, I played a multiplayer one on online on the PC, where uh, we were we were right outside this room with this objective, like this trophy that we needed to get. Uh, but, but there's there all these trip wires and guards in there. And so every time we fucking got in there, we would set something off. And then all these guards would come and we'd have to run around and run around and run around until we lost them. Which was hilarious because we were just kind of rounding corners till they eventually got <laughs> confused and dizzy. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the game doesn't have realism. You can literally put on a disguise while somebody's beating you with a with a, <laughs> a nightstick. Oh, and I then like, they stop. I love those ones, though. <laughs> no, I know. It's, it's, give you the it's out. good. Yeah. Because, well, yeah, because it's more about fun gameplay yeah. than it is yeah. about being real. And I appreciate right. that greatly. Right. But uh, so I was playing with the cleaner and uh, um, my partner was playing with the mole. And so. I tripped it again. I'm running around. Nobody's paying attention to the mole because they're just chasing me around uh, like Yakety Tax is playing in the background. And, or no, I think we were both running. And then all of a sudden he stops because there's like this wall on the other side of the thing. And yeah. the mole can dig through walls. Oh, It makes a shit ton of noise and so can attract people. So it's an actual mole. It's like a mole. I'm thinking it's No, like, it's, it's a dude. He's the mole. Not a, He's got a sledgehammer. Not a not an actual yeah. mole mole, but I thought like a mole undercover no, person. Gotcha. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, think that too. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And so, and so he kind of stops there and looks, and I'm and I'm running around trying to dodge these guards, and I'm like, "Do it!" <laughs> Except we we didn't have voice chat on, right, and, right, and so and then you're thinking like, that he, he, he probably heard he you. He smashes the, the wall open, grabs the trophy, and just fucking hightails it to the <laughs> stairs. I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> nice." And it, <sighs> it's 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 great. Uh, I know we're very early in the year, but it it is at least so far definitely my game of 2013 nice. uh, it is it is so much fun i've already racked up like 16 hours in the game nice gta 5 is coming out this year though <laughs> oh yes that's right fuck that game <laughs> uh, sorry i didn't mean to taint the monaco <laughs> talk with gta but ugh, it was funny ugh, monaco is like 18 billion times more fun than gta 4 <laughs> on record <laughs> always on record Fuck that! We're here I'm for. I'm Fuck just glad GTA I got to 4. see that game. Like, yeah, you guys playing it. Yeah, because I think screenshots, like you were saying, Craig, I think that would have killed it. You for can't me. figure out what the I think it would have killed from the screenshot. I think that the demo is going to help, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. but sometimes I. Yeah, I mean, I mean <laughs> sometimes people. Look I'm at the, the guy. I'm first. that guy. I do too. Okay, but I'm going to also throw in my issue with that I had with the game when we were playing it. Mm -hmm. um, when I, we were playing through, and some of the things that we did, I didn't understand what we were doing. Yeah. They don't give you any kind of like tutorial on like. They oh, give this you is... some tutorials <clears throat> for things, but some of the stuff it wasn't explaining. Like, okay, so there's things that are written down. It's it's really not in your face. No, so it's stuff that's in the in the there's, level. So there's also some neat Easter eggs. Like if you dig around with the mole into some area, oh, area really? walls, yeah, there's like Easter. It's like why are you digging over that's here? That's awesome. And shit like that. That's really cool. <laughs> but they, they it, it's things in the environment. So yes. the ground, it'll be like look like there's something on the ground that's mm -hmm. telling you instructions on how to do things and like what the buttons do. But, like, when you mentioned getting the uh, disguise, yeah. there's no mention about how, oh, there's a ring that goes around you, and this is, like, your awareness, and so, like, as that goes, depletes, that's when you lose your disguise. Yeah. You told me that, but there was nothing in the game that told me that. No, and I so, didn't get told that when I played through it, and it took me a little while to figure it out, but at the same time, I mean, you know... it's kind of a bummer. At the same time, it says, put on the disguise, and you put on the disguise, all of a sudden, there's this new feature around you with this yeah. black ring. 
you walk in front of the guard, that black ring turns pretty visibly white. And so, you know, it's it's didn't tell me but directly, in, but I figured it out. Pretty but until well. you pointed it out, I played it last night. I played that level. I didn't notice anything changed on my thing. Oh, like I didn't see it at all. Well, maybe you should have played with your eyes open. I was, but it goes to Sean's <laughs> point where there's so much shit going on around in that game. Like, and there's everything that's like there's all the different colors, yeah. and there's so much stuff going it's on. It's a game of ex- so adding another color on my guy didn't really like say something. Okay, to fair, me. fair point, but I I think you know. I, I'm, I'm not def- tearing I'm, down the game. I know I'm you're just... not, and I don't need to be defensive here. But <laughs> at the same time, it is a game of exploration and kind right. of exper- experimentation. That's mm-hmm, what I meant. Mm-hmm. It's a game of experimentation. You try things out, it fucks up. <laughs> you, but, try, but I... you try to get... Like, I didn't know... I didn't realize at first... Well, I didn't even realize I really kind of... I didn't realize any of that wheel stuff. But then, like, it also is... If you're running, for mm-hmm. example, while wearing a disguise... Well, and somebody can see you. It burns it yeah. faster, right? You know, mm. that's something I figured out when my disguise burned off hyper fast, and I'm like, "What the fuck is going on?" But I, I guess my point is that I just want a base level, like they tell you, okay, hit A to see these things, or pick up this and get ten coins, and you get more ammo. Well, they do tell you that, right? Yeah. What I wanted is something base level like that for the stealth portion of, or the the disguise portion of it, and that's the only example I have at the moment. Yeah, but. but Probably- because then I would have been able to piece together. It's not like they're saying, oh, if you run, it's going to go faster. Mm-hmm. I don't need that portion of it. I'll figure that out on my own. I just want a base level. Here's how it works. And mm-hmm. that's w- that was missing for me. And I kind of got, I was like, well, that's a little odd. But that was the only thing I've run into so far that was like that. Yeah. So, I, you know, I, I'm sure they were thinking the level design would teach you that enough. Maybe. Because there's only one guard. You've just put on the disguise. You And there's no way that you're going to you know burn it badly enough in front of the guard right. uh, in order to um have it go completely so they i mean i think they were trying that for cuz then again there's like a civilian who's wa- mm-hmm. who's watching yeah. out of a booth on and it's really paced out and all that stuff so that that might have been their thinking i'm just trying to get into that yeah i'm an idiot i know <laughs> no 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 <laughs> But some of those later levels can get fucking tough i imagine too. because the one i was oh doing God. i couldn't do Oh my god! I could but, do it. But well, you just have to take your time. Yeah, I know. Well, and and then, I get too impatient. And there were points where I'm like, "Oh my god, I gotta do this!" And then you know, <laughs> and, and then I go back and play some earlier levels, and I come back and I'm like, "Oh, I'll just fucking do this." Well, the other thing, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The other thing it felt like too. <laughs> we talked about this was uh, Hotline Miami. Yeah, uh, it was very reminiscent of like a less severe version of that right because that game is severe and like really punishing yes and you have to almost be perfect in a lot of things but at the same time but at the same time it's you know the the gameplay for that is hyper quick yeah like anyway like you can return to your same your same point really quickly you know here you can get i mean in some of those later levels you can clear a bunch of stuff out and then eventually run out of your four lives yeah and then you know have to have to start that'd be rough that'd make me mad here's here's a warning Watch out for the fucking doctors. Okay. Don't fucking doctors. What do they do? I think they they might be the first characters with ranged weapons. They have these crossbows, but they fucking follow you forever. <laughs> they do not fucking give up. Doctor Crossbow. Oh yeah, fuck those dudes. <laughs> I, I I don't know because uh, I think I think they're tranquilizer crossbows because you can get an item where you have a tranquilizer crossbow. Nice. You can use it to knock out guards and civilians. Hmm. <laughs> it's fun stuff. So you're so loving it. Fun. Oh my god, I love this game. I have it. So uh, much. We got a review copy of it, uh, but it just came out today. Um, so I think I, I, think I might buy it on as Xbox just recording. to make you play it more. Craig might buy it on Xbox because he thinks that I'll play multiplayer games still. <laughs> it's so much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I, that's totally the kind of game that I would play. Yeah. Right. We'll make Sean buy it, and then we can all three play. They were originally playing like, like a, a PvP idea. mode, like cops and robbers, but they had a, they had trouble balancing it, and so yeah. they, they pulled it. That's good. I would. Like I think it to works be as a gentleman. Yeah. What's that? I want to be the gentleman. The gentleman's awesome. I just as like... long as nobody's looking at him, he can put a new disguise on. Now his disguises don't last as long. Yeah, but it's fucking. But it's always it's fucking there. great. Like in the art museum, you're just walking fucking up because you can because you can pick people's pockets, and it's really hard because you have to like really nudge right behind them unless you have the monkey who just grabs all that shit <laughs> or you have a fucking disguise and you can walk right through them i mean granted nice. they're burning your, your yeah, disguise yeah, yeah. Off, but you know you, there's a dude typing on computer i'm just gonna stand inside you dude and use your computer to activate a virus here you know uh, your gentleman ghost gentleman is awesome <laughs> that's awesome cool stuff yes. and how long is the game do you know that have you finished i, it out I have PC? not been able to uh, it's got two tracks. Um, one is the the story, basically the kind of story thing. Mm-hmm. I have not finished it because I've gotten to a hard part and uh, I haven't had a chance to play multiplayer to help me get through it or mm. figure out how to get through it. Okay, um, I got really close, but it's hard. 
Um, and then there's a second track, which is basically the same levels. It's it's interesting because it's like the locksmith or the lockpicks story, mm-hmm. and then uh, the pickpockets story. And so you get these little blurbs of story in between where there's some dialogue and blah, blah, blah. And and so then the dialogue for the pickpocket story is kind of interviewing him about the same things happening. However, he remembers them completely differently. <laughs> <laughs> and so... I wondered when that split, like yeah, if it was going to be the same kind of... So the maps are the same, but uh, they're basically more difficult levels. Uh, there's a, usually a lot more guards. You know, things are arranged a little differently. <laughs> Uh, you might start in a different area. I can't remember. I haven't done many of them, but uh, well, here one thing that's kind of nice slash maybe not nice is that uh, there is some randomization. Guards will largely like people will largely be in the same place, but all the money on the level mm-hmm. kind of randomizes to different oh, locations really? every time you play. So if you're really fucking having a hard time, you know you can restart it. Or you know, unfortunately, if you lose out, you might get a, a tough. Because oh, I'm one. I'm trying to do uh, no, I guess that yeah, I'm trying to do. There's one achievement on Steam, at least. I don't know if it's for the Xbox as well, where you do the 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 first level with like a time of under a minute ten. Yeah, it is on. There. I got to a minute ten. Because, because, uh... But but those coin like the la- the toughest part is there's like these three rooms. Uh, they're not in they're not in order. They're all kind of parallel with each other, and uh, <clears throat> hey, you have to you have to blitz through that, grabbing all the coins. But the coins randomize, and so. I, I never oh, know what's in those sure. rooms until I open the door. <laughs> nice. So I might open the door. I'm like, fuck, there's like two coins in here. Grab those. But then they're, you know, I go in there again. There's like 18 million coins in here. Fuck. For that for that achievement, do you have to get all the coins and everything and get well, through in a minute? Because uh, I tried going through without picking up the coins. Yeah. And I think I had 20 minutes. Because <laughs> it adds to your timer. Every coin you, oh, know, you don't sure, grab sure, adds yeah. to your timer. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I didn't Apparently know Apparently a massive amount. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yes. So you do need them all. Yeah. So you, <laughs> so that that's to, you know that's a challenge for people doing the speed runs yeah, and stuff. Yeah. You, mm. you can't just run I to like the that. end. I know. So it's not like you can just it's get through in 47 reward. seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> although, although on the bank mission, it was like uh, get in and out of the bank without being seen. You start in this subway and it's right next to the vault, but you you know normally you have to go like up a few levels and mm-hmm. come back down to the vault, and then you grab that and you go back up and you come back to like and you escape in a car or something. I took the mole, I just smashed through the wall, <laughs> grabbed that thing, and then jumped on the subway. Nice, <laughs> I was done in like a minute. See ya. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Okay, so, I told you I can have a whole I can have a whole That's Monaco right. podcast. I'll tell you what, we'll probably talk about it more. Because uh, I imagine, since it, like we said, it just came out today, so I'm yeah. sure we'll be playing some multiplayer on Xbox, oh, God, or so good. I'll be playing some more for sure. So Sweet. we'll talk about it next episode as well. Oh, and the music? No, we're we're done. No music, real quick. <laughs> yeah, music. Music. It's ragtimey, silent film <laughs> era great. stuff by the guy who did the soundtrack for Journey on the PS3. And uh, oh, is Steve it Perry? Really? What's fucking? What's... <laughs> no, not Steve Perry. Shut <laughs> up. Yes, yeah. No, you're not, absolutely not, right. not that Journey. <laughs> But what's really awesome about it is that it's dynamic, and so it changes. Uh, like when the shit hits a fan, like it seamlessly becomes more frenetic and manic. Ooh, nice. And then, and then once once you hide someplace, then there's like this calming, and it's really kind of soothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like it goes even softer than normal. Yeah, I was I using it. I was using it to tell me when I was in the clear. Yeah, exactly. Because you know, you know, yeah. that dies it, down it calm when down. everybody went back to but their spots. But it's fantastic. Yeah, really cool. Okay. Hmm. I'll, I'll stop for today. That's all right. I'm sorry. No, we appreciate it. It's my Asura's Wrath of 2013. Everybody wants to hear it. Oh, maybe they don't want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, they don't. Uh, you wanted to talk about some Army of Two? Just really quick. Sure. Little little Army of Two double scar to it. Um, I finished it. Uh, I This was one game that, I you know, I had Bioshock, and I didn't finish Bioshock. I will. I will return to it. I will return to it. I'm telling that to myself. Um, we'll but see. I did play through Army of Two. Towards the end of the game, you, you start hanging out with what is it, Alpha and Omega? I can't remember their names now. Uh, Alpha and Bravo. Oh, that's right. That makes more sense. <laughs> Alpha and Bravo. It does make more yeah, sense. Omega. Does, does not. Anyway, <laughs> so like you know, that's that's the crossover with. Uh, oh damn it! Now I can't remember that uh, that uh, Western game that the very first one had like a preacher, mm. Bound in Blood. No, I don't know. Anyway, Call of War is. We'll edit That's that it. out. I Thank you. Know. Call for it. Call for it. You're not going to edit shit. No, I know. <laughs> so I, I finished it out. Please. You know, I there was something that there was an appeal to the game for me. Uh, you know, the, the craziness, the lot of fun. Uh, but, you know, it was missing the the, the army of two vibe. The right. two-ness. The two-ness. And that kind of started showing up towards the end. You know, like, it, it was more or less, you know, the helping of helping up 
to higher ground, opening doors, talking back and forth. It just seemed to... opening doors for each other. Yeah, after you. Hello. <laughs> um, you know, and then you, you you do those split missions where one would watch the mm-hmm. top, and and there seemed to be a lot more towards the end of the game. Um, you know, the it was the story was pretty predictable for me, yeah. but still I enjoyed the ride. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially seeing all my customized masks throughout the game. <laughs> Towards the end, and right. he's still wearing them. Uh, one time, though, it was just white, and I liked that a lot better. <laughs> it was cool. It was all glossy white. It must have been On a accident? glitch. Yeah, it must have oh, been okay. a glitch during the game. Because then he turned, and then when he turned back, it was the, the grifter mask. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. But uh, I thought it was, it was a lot slender, of... slender, man. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was... I, I really enjoyed... You know, the story's kind of meh, but I, I, I had a fun time with the gameplay. It wasn't so repetitive. Um, but it, it just kept me going through cool. the end. So it, it was fun. It got a little nuts and crazy, and I like it. Good to hear. Yeah, it was cool. I'm glad to hear about the good ending. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say good. <laughs> happy? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you got a happy ending. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I had a towel. Each other happy. <laughs> what? Right. I'm sure. Hey. If it's like the originals. <laughs> <laughs> These guys were in love. Why did I start that? I don't know. Uh, Injustice, God's Among Us. Mm-hmm. We played that. What about a little Defiance after that? Oh, you want to do Defiance? I'll just do a quick Defiance. Sure, go go ahead. Do it I only I'm not to, doing this I don't, anymore. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to end on a. I I would like to end on us talking about Injustice. That would be justified. But uh, All right, Defiance. So what about injustice. Defiance? Defiance is okay. <laughs> is that it? Are we done? I played it. I'm glad we stopped. I played it. It's a big M M M M M O O O O G or whatever. Put in too many letters. <laughs> whatever. It's a like, yeah. You know that's what he spelled. There's a really cool like vibe. <laughs> it's a big moog. It's a big moog. It's a, there's a awesome vibe to it when you pull up and you're like ATV or car or whatever you can get at that time. Yeah. Um, as you level up, you know it opens up other cars and things Power like wins. that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so you show up, and it's like all these guys fighting this big monster. Yeah. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, because you Especially don't... Especially like one yeah. person gets hit, 40 people go flying. You don't, play any, names. you don't play any uh, computer games. So not really, no. not really, I don't get to see that. You've never gotten to experience no. uh, MMO. No. It's kind of stuff. You don't even so. really know what a computer is. No. I've seen one. <laughs> It was then it flashed. Naked and, ladies were on it. <laughs> well, frightened. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. That's probably why yours doesn't work anymore. Both of them. Whoops. It's <laughs> the last time you saw him. Soon my Xbox. Anyway, is this anyway. starting to play video. So what how about defiance? No, yeah, but I mean, it was it was it, you had fun. It was what it was. Uh, I it was just that aspect of it. I mm-hmm. thought that was really neat. You know, I did my missions, and then you, they would have icons that pop up. Were you a human or an alien? I was. I went alien female. Mm. I just always going to be female. Yeah. But uh, so it's like always, it does it on its own. No, I do. I'm always. I have to live through the life of a woman, uh, especially right. in video games. Anyway, Great. So like you'd go to these icons and whatnot, <laughs> and and it would be neat. Like all these like like blue dots start showing up, and you're fighting it. The only problem I had was is like the the big beast you would always fight was always the same thing. Uh-huh. And if they would have changed it up a little bit, that might have got me like I could play this game. Did you try but... going somewhere else? I did, but it seemed like every <laughs> okay. po- everything was this big giant weird lizard like snake type. Hmm. It looked like it looked oh. like the Sarlacc pit inside out. Are you sure <laughs> you're playing Land of Lost? <laughs> no. <laughs> I may have been doing that. I may have, but uh you know, it was what it Were was. For, for, no. <laughs> was Will Farrell there? No, but The Rock was. Um, it's the second one. <laughs> oh, and I hate so this game. <laughs> but I heard like this the, thi- the worst. I heard the things that you do in the game changes the TV show. I didn't know there was a TV show. They yeah, just started yeah, so, yeah. TV yeah. show. But it is. I, I've never played one of those big multiplayer games, so yeah. that was the fun part, you so know. Fun. It, but you can play by yourself too, right? No. Is it always online? Well, you can. You yeah. You're always online. You can play by. You don't have to go to where all these right. people are. But that was the weird thing too. Yeah. Like you'd be driving down the road <laughs> and you're seeing all these people flying by you, and yeah. you're like, "What's over there?" And it's just you look at the icon, and it's just flashing red. So you'd show up, and <laughs> forty guys would come and, flying and that was over. Burning you. man. <laughs> Oh, about <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> I wonder if people set up events. In that. <laughs> that would be uh, pretty sweet. MMOs do that, a lot. Yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah. But uh, I, it was fun. Cool. <laughs> the flashing lights were just strobes. Yeah, <laughs> I've got it sitting over there. I haven't played it yet. I've had it sitting there for like a week and a half. Mm. And when I say week and a half, I mean two weeks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't run it that long. Uh, well, I haven't played because he had it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have True. to. I... We had to change. We had to change video stars. 
Oh. <laughs> He's on one side, I'm on the other. I That's see. true. Total different. All right. Now, can we talk about Injustice? Yes. All right. God's Among Us. God's Among Us. Uh, we talked about the demo last time mm-hmm. when we met four years ago. Uh, but we've played the full game between now and then. Yes. And I think it's just okay. I, I, I have It to, looks awesome. I have to admit, I really enjoy I was I was into the story. Yeah. And I liked how the campaign went. And you, you know, you kind of move on with the story. But it, it got so repetitive. Like, okay. I know, right? You're like, I wanted the story to be over with, but... Okay, now you got to be this character and fight these three guys. Yeah. And then they like have to justify your every battle about the story. Yeah. That's what I heard. And there was a there was a point in the game and I kid you not, I was playing this late at night. I fell asleep playing. <laughs> when I started the game up the next day, mm-hmm. I was like past the part that I was at, started at. <laughs> So either I better than your sleep than you are awake. <laughs> so I think you, it's more of a statement on how easy the game is. So either the game allows you if you if you perish, you just move on in the story. <laughs> I don't think that's how it would no, work. No, it's not. Okay. Wait, did did elves come and finish the game for you? <laughs> no. Did Maybe, you, did podcasting you elves or video gaming elves, one of the two. <laughs> With the rubber bands and yes. setting a book on the buttons, <laughs> turning the turbo on. I just yeah, that's when I'm an edge of late a book at night. I usually just I, I zip tie my hand to the controller. I'm like, <clears throat> um, but I you know You're grinding a, it out. A lot of the you know it's the same basic moves. It's really dumbed down fighter, yeah, just like is. the demo showed. I just wanted to play most of the guys yeah. to see what their special thing was. Mm-hmm. I did like that aspect of it. Their little special power things were really specific to the characters. Yeah. And I like that. Like the Flash, who could like slow down time. And that was really cool when yeah. you could activate that. And he, mm-hmm. uh, everybody moved in slow motion, or everything moved in slow motion yeah. but him. And that was really cool. And like Batman had his little flying things that came around. Yeah. And he those could little throw bomb those things. Little bombs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's little things like that that were really cool about specific characters. But outside of that, it seemed like the regular move sets that you were using on the regular yeah, yeah. were all the same. Yep. And, and, you know, it's it just didn't seem like there was enough variety mm-hmm. between the people. So it was sure. while you were bouncing around between the people, the, really the only thing that you cared about was seeing what their new little superpower thing was and yeah. their special was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, oh, I want to see what their special does. But other than that, you're doing all the same moves as everybody else does. You're right. low-kicking them, you're high-punching them, and then that's it. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, it just didn't feel like the Mortal Kombat, you know, because it yeah. was the same team working I on agree. this than the last right. Mortal Kombat. I agree. Which I loved what they did. Nether Realms, I think, is the yeah. company. Yes. I, I loved what they did with that last Mortal Kombat. I was never a huge Mortal Kombat yeah. fan. Yeah. But that was that one a couple of years ago mm-hmm. that yeah. you went through the same kind of story progression mm-hmm. where uh, you know you played different characters for a couple fights and then yeah. it would change and the story yeah, was being told. About that. And that was really well done. Yeah, and it, was it was a lot of fun. And that's kind of how what they brought into this but I didn't like the story in this. They needed to at change. All. They changed they needed to change up the 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 move set for each character. They needed to do that. And just kind of make it feel fresh each mm-hmm. time you were playing it. Um and I also had a problem when you were fighting some of the same guys. Mm-hmm. The colors weren't the like it looked like you were fighting yourself. Yeah, we had that problem cuz we played <laughs> yeah, a little oh, bit yeah, of multiplayer. Yeah, we did play multiplayer. And we both played that. Flash. Yeah. yeah. And one Flash is red and the other one is like a darker red. A barely darker <laughs> yeah. red. Like one shade down. You know what you gotta do? You gotta buy the costume. <laughs> exactly. So we were playing and we totally got confused multiple times who the fuck we were. Yeah. Which I guess made it more of a fair fight. Because yeah. we didn't know what was going on. Yeah. But <laughs> But I, I you know, like I, I played it for the story. I, I liked the story. It had a good cool DC. Really? I didn't like the story. It was a very DC Elseworlds vibe to it. But it wasn't Elseworlds. They did that whole weird thing. Where they were in the future, yeah, but it wasn't the future. I don't know why they didn't it, make it just another dimension. They did make it, it. That's the thing. It was another dimension. Oh, okay. But the way that the story went, yeah, they made they do like do that. to think that the one oh, no, that you're we're not watching doing everything. I know the one that you're watching Sorry. first. Yeah. is actually the other dimension. Okay, and you don't come we're in spoiling. until later. Sorry, everybody. Spoilers. <laughs> I know they should have had a <laughs> retro. Foot, they should have had a footnote in that retroactive spoiler yeah. warning. But uh, I I don't know. I, it was fun. Yeah, I wanted some I, of the other characters. The, the backgrounds were awesome. Yeah. I liked the uh, interactive environments. I know yeah. some people had some issues with those because they're pretty much uh, whoever gets to them can use them, and they're like I, you can't block them. Yeah. I don't think. No, uh, I, was, I also heard there's a little bit of min, uh, at least online. There's a little bit of min maxing. Uh, I could uh, for characters with because if you play online, you both get to vote for one level. Uh-huh. Is that right? And then, I, ran- I don't and then it randomly chooses mm. one of them. And so everybody tries to choose something that is well suited to their character. And yeah. so then the other character might be 
fucked. Like with the environment stuff. Yeah. 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 Like, you know, because like super strong dudes can pick up this dumpster and smash it on you right. as opposed to like Catwoman or something. It's a little weird to put that in there to have that added bonus because mm-hmm. it doesn't seem very balanced. Well, yeah, that's that was kind of that yeah. was kind of the comment about it. Yeah. And I also found some weird matchups. Uh all the big guys, you know, this isn't this isn't atypical of a fighting game, but you have the big guys and the small guys, and you know they they kind of move in the same way or have the kind of same move sets. Mm-hmm. But the big guys in this game are really slow, very much so. And the little people like uh, Harley uh-huh. and uh, I think it was mainly just Harley and Catwoman. Yeah, they're super fucking quick. Yeah, and it's not even it wasn't even remotely like that's entertaining. Your, that's Chun Li and Cammy and then Zhang Leaf and, Bi- and Bison, but it wasn't. So- no motion. But it seemed more out of balance. Yeah. And maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not. But it, it felt really out of balance when mm-hmm. you're trying to jump around with the big Lex suit. Yeah. And then he had Harley. Did you try jumping up, jumping up and getting down? Jumping up, jump, jump up and get down? Yeah. No, I did not. Uh, instead of jumping around? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. That might that might have helped you out. Uh, you know what I did though? I did get get out my seat and jump around. Oh, okay. So but I was tried it that. better then? It didn't. No, it no. didn't do anything. So All I, right, I well. can't think they get up and get get a get down would have yeah. been any better. Nine one one is a joke in my town. It wouldn't have probably been any better. Get up, did we get, do that get, enough? Get down. Did we go then to the ground with that one? It's yeah. about we're about there. <laughs> I think so. All right. Uh, so you know, I like the look. Oh I, yeah. I, well, I'll do, I do say though, I hate the character designs. I, there's a lot of those guys I didn't like at all, and those I, everybody I in the alt and, and the alt the was, alt ones were terrible, and gross. They're it was terrible. ridiculous. Some of them. Nightwing had this worst haircut I've ever seen in my life. Well, it wasn't Nightwing. Spoiler. Oh Jesus! Stop ruining everything. Bam. Stolen. <laughs> I, didn't stole spo- my, I didn't spoil it. Spoil it. You stole my innocence. It's Alfred. <laughs> I wish me. that it was. He knew me. Alfred, he knew me. Oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> but other than that, you Why know. I worry. <laughs> they get punched in the face. They need to make a mad game where you like move the pages together to form yes. the picture. Drawn by. Um, no, they don't. Spragori Mamori. No, 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 that guy's name. Sergio Argones. See? Nice. But no, that needs to happen. He didn't draw any of those fold in ones, did he? Some of them. No. Probably. Didn't he? I don't think he so. He drew at least two. No. At least three. You guys the are thinking. You guys the are thinking man has grew. drawn everything. I'm going to You're thinking of Gru. I'm Googling it. Gru. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we done with injustice? Like, because I don't have much else to say about it. It's a no, fighting I, game. What are yeah, you talking about? We're completely on topic here. I know. Yeah, I know, exactly. I know. Are going I know. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not a big fighting game fan, so I'm probably not the one to be mm-hmm. judging it anyway. So it, yeah, yeah, it needed to be XBLA for ten bucks. Why are you so? Judgy? No, it didn't need to do that. But I enjoyed the Mortal <laughs> Kombat one they did a couple of years I know, ago. I agree with you. We this agreed. one felt a little more monotonous. Yeah, something about it just it was dumb. It should have been like a like all ages kids game. <laughs> Because it felt very kiddish. I slept play, during play it. Play-wise? Yes. Play-wise, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, not you beat wise, me. Play. Okay? Oh, snap. <laughs> See, here's, snap. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. That's how I knew the game was fucked up. And I'm not even joking. Because when we were having those games, I felt like, I felt bad. <laughs> like, I need to dial it back a little bit. Yeah. And when I felt like that, I'm like, well, there's obviously, this game doesn't work right. Mm-hmm. Because there's no reason that I should be winning and having to worry about, like, well, let me get, let Sean get a couple hits in. I know. I, I, like, won the first one, and then I lost the second. I was like, oh, no. I'm like, something's what, not right what here. What was the character selection here? We were just... We did rant, like, yeah, a bunch no, of them. Okay. I just well, I was I, I was winning a lot. I was trying to figure out where the balance issue was. Well, the balance issue, there was... I mean, when I was playing, like, Catwoman or Harley, but, like, we talked about yeah. before, and he had a bigger guy. Mm-hmm. It was nowhere. I mean, I think I didn't even get touched yeah. on one of the levels. Yeah. Um, but we were mixing them up, and it was. I don't know. I think I was winning more than losing. Yeah. But still, maybe he was falling asleep. I wasn't keeping. <laughs> he was, I was, I was, he might he not was, have been awake. He was actually asleep the whole time. <laughs> think of how amazing that is. <laughs> it is amazing. You still did pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, that would sound more right <laughs> with our with our my he game playing he ability. Didn't want you to feel bad. <laughs> Too late. I'll give him this one. All right, we done. Yes, we done. Done. Put a stamp on it. Let's uh, sign in podcast uh, dot com. Stick a fork in it. Sign in podcast dot com is our website. Yes. Still, still, you can go there. You can find links to uh, all of our Twitter. No, 
Find links to all of our uh, other pseudo radio shows. You can find links to yes. our forums. You can find links to uh, my Twitter, which is Signed In Podcast. Mm-hmm. Can you find links to the YouTube videos that you're making? I haven't put it on there yet. Why? Hey, yeah, I have added us all to YouTube, too. I'm in the process of putting all the shows up on YouTube. Why am I doing that? I don't know. Because you can. But I, more because I can. Yes. Uh, I don't there, see there any reason not don't. to. Yeah. Right? So if you do use YouTube, uh, go on there and... Promote it to your friends. Go on there and find us and subscribe to us just to help us boost up that way. Because I, I think that that pro- probably matters in the searches. I don't know how YouTube works. I don't It's It's a video site. You sell your soul to someone. You can watch animals ride think. around on uh, bikes and stuff. <laughs> Funny cat videos. Mm-hmm. I, like, I want to be in that mix. I like goats singing to Taylor Swift songs. You can do that, too. That one makes me laugh you can do every time. You can find links to care. our Facebook. Uh, but I mentioned I'm on Twitter at Sign In Podcast. Craig, you're on Twitter at... Prof Dresser. That's what? right. Prof Jesus. underscore Dresser. Prof underscore Dresser. Boom. Like it is on our forums. You yes. ruined everything when I was trying to tweet today. <laughs> Why is that? I because didn't I understand was, what you were talking because about. Because I was typing out, out characters. No, I was typing out stuff and I kept oh. putting at the pull list and I would submit it and it would like not be, it would be like regular text, not like the <laughs> highlight where you can click on it. I'm like, well, what did I do wrong? And I'd delete it and do it again. Still messed up. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, so, so I, I didn't get to see any of this because you deleted it all. I know. So, so your comment was completely so then, out in the void. So and I'm like, what went, is to, the, about. to your thing and i'm like oh he changed it but i just had the confrontations he, with you yesterday yes. i just didn't pay attention actually earlier uh, that day <laughs> that's true <laughs> i don't pay attention sean where are you on twitter um at Seanix. all right awesome mm-hmm. so we're all no we're not i was gonna say we're all using our xbox names but we're not because i'm still using <laughs> no, sign use it once in a while burr, burr, burr. once in a while uh you can email us at comments at signed in podcast.com and uh next episode we're gonna have dead island riptide yes we're gonna have riptide Another game, Metro Last Light. <laughs> Good job. Which I know Craig is excited for. I am very excited for it. So look forward to that. I'm going to shoot some mutants. Are you? Yes. And I don't know what else we'll have. Probably I some more Monaco. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Sounds like we'll have some more Monaco. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I might I might take a break from Monaco to play some Metro Last Light. <laughs> you might. And uh, in closing, I guess, I one final thank you again to everybody who yes. helped us out with uh, our fundraising final. efforts. Thank you. It is the final thank you. Probably And not. the final episode, ironically. <laughs> We're done. We're done. Thanks. Thanks, by the way. <laughs> We're out. We're hope off this, to Monaco. Hope this sounds real. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about real places there, by the way. I don't know if you caught that. Oh, we're done. Thanks, everybody. Thank, thank you. you.